Yeah. All right, everyone, we're live. Emily and John, back from Optics. We're going to do uh, uh, really an action-packed three hours here. <laughs> and uh, we started a little bit early because we wanted to spend some time going over the pick five, right? Because we, we rushed to pick five at Del Mar. So we wanted to take our time, do it a little bit bright. And uh, Emily, I don't know what you saw, but I thought this was a real tough sequence. Um, uh, it is, yes. Okay, I, I just want yeah. to make sure. I'm really right. So I think this. Is yeah, kind of I, I, you know, I, I basically have prices pretty much in, in every leg that have a shot. Okay, I, I only thought there was one place that I'm going to really kind of anchor a horse, and I wanted to okay. get your opinion on it. Um, but let's let's go let's go through the races one at a time. Then we can come back to like some how we want to play this or you know potential way to play this. So okay. the first race to me, there you know we just look at the the plot. It looks like there's a lot of contention, right? But the problem is it doesn't look like a closer in the in, in the race, right? You got all this EP, you got high contention, high speed rating, one two three five six all kind of like the before we place, but yeah, I don't have a lot of confidence on the seven and the four as deep closers in this race, and uh, so. One of the things I asked you before uh, on this whole, I think it was yesterday, the day before, about Gulfstream, because I thought the horse, the two horse, had a little bit of a look coming from Gulfstream, and I was just curious um, about how they were running at Del Mar. You kind of said it was mixed, but a lot of it had to do where, where these horses were placed. But that was a horse that I liked a little bit. And the three, I was a little bit against. Just, just I thought that, you know, this horse might, with the quick turnaround, regress a little bit. So I was a little bit against the, the, the three. So I kind of landed on like horses I thought had the best chance to win in this was two, three. I'm sorry, two, was it two, six, and seven with my horses in this race? Yeah, I went I went similar. Uh six to one um yeah. is kind of the way is kind of the way I went. Um with the six, just because it has you know, there's those back numbers there. The last time out at a higher level broke slow was warm was wide so we can get a chance to look at the horse on the track and taking oh, yeah. money currently i mean i guess i don't know it's kind of a short wording line so maybe not but yeah i'm pretty much the same idea not not too crazy in, in this leg yeah so but i was negative i was with you kind of negative on the three as well yeah so one of the ways i'm gonna maybe play is we'll get to the way we play but i was thinking about maybe because i'm so deep in so many legs that uh, I might use the, just a two in the second ticket, but that's okay. we'll, we'll get to that when we when we get to it. All right, um, this race I was uh, you know obviously a lot of first time starters. I thought the nine just based the fact that again another Florida horse that you know because I watch Florida thought it ran pretty well. Uh, got kicked mm -hmm. back in his debut, so mm -hmm. the ones that ran uh, <laughs> the two I'm like okay I'm gonna probably just include them, and I I really had to go deep here. Um, just kind of looking at works and stuff, and we'll get your opinion. But I went one, two, eight, nine, ten in this race. Uh, okay, I was two, six, nine, um, two, six, nine. I wrote about the eleven, but the eleven didn't draw in. Um, okay. As far as the two, I'll be curious to what they have on the works. Um, I watched her at the sale in June. She worked. She already looked like she was super fit. And Sadler just kind of seems like he's keeping her in order. She was best of her workmate breezing on the 24th and then showed speed at the conclusion of that two furlong drill. She got fitness with the, uh, she gained fitness with the work that followed on August 8th and then gate practice. So I think she looks ready. And then as far as the six, um, I saw she worked 10 flat at the Timonium sale in May and just kind of looked like she needed a little bit more conditioning. Like she kind of already has that speed and just with this race being a shorter sprint distance, you know, at a, at a price, I, I kind of included that one. Um, I don't know where they were on the work. Yeah, yeah, I mean, as far as people that I follow it, the works, the two is probably doing the best. of, of the Yeah. So, so yeah. that confirms what you're saying there. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we're a little kind of a little bit different, but I mean, I think the key, I mean, did you include, you didn't include the nine at all, right? Or you no, I did include the nine. Oh, okay. Yes. okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we'll get to that. So that, that raised a little bit of a head scratcher, but sometimes those races come back. Well, I mean, I think that's that's one that we can kind of key around the two on the yeah, yeah, yeah. as well, key around the two and then kind of have a backup with I agree. someone to spread. Okay. I agree. I agree with you. Okay, race three. Um, yeah, I thought it was a little bit of a chaos race for me. But, well, let me what's your opinion of this race? I, I really well, like Okay, so 
Um, yeah, I could see where it looks like a chaos race because of the plot. Like, it just kind of looks like it's going to favor maybe front runners, but then it's just like, once you get into it, it's a, it's a little bit right. deeper in, than right. what it appears. Right. And so just kind of keeping that in mind and kind of looking at how horses like typically run, I think the five can get a trip and is in the kind of right time and place just in terms of form cycle. Um, I know she's down in quadrant four, which, you know, is, is kind of scary, but um, I don't think that's necessarily, she does have some of those like gate drills, but it's second start off. She's coming out of the sprint, closed ground, um, you know, stretching back out, which is where the horse has been a little bit more effective in the past and just back at a lower level. Uh, just kind of seems like the right spot, kind of a newer face with some of these other horses that also have some, you know, distance questions and just kind of suspect form, um, things like that. So I, I gave I gave the five a look because it just kind of seems like one of these horses that can win this race, like hands down or doesn't. But I definitely want to be be using. Yeah. Um, and yeah. then I went with uh, two, ten, and three, just kind yeah. of as some. Yeah, other you're ideas. The, only, the only, the only horse I think that I had that um, you left out was the four. I, I don't trust this horse, but uh, I, I just, I don't know. It's just, it's just such a bad feel. Um, and I'm, yeah. so, I'm so bad. At, I'll be honest. I, I'm so bad at these non-two lifetime. I think most people are. I mean, it's either like you know, there's a chalk that wins that I could never like, you know, really get behind. Or there's a horse that is like just doesn't figure wins these kinds of races. It's a it's a tough race. I whatever you do, I'd be spreading here pretty deep if you can if you could afford it, and hope for the best. But I, yeah. I like I like your analysis on the five. The only thing that really worries me, and you know that, is that all the gate slow gates. Mm -hmm. You know, getting stretched yeah. back out now probably has the best you know you know the closing best closing kick with the ten in the race. So could be picking up a lot of tired horses late. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, then maybe the sprint last out puts some speed into her. You know, who knows? Right. Who knows? And then, right. I mean, as far as the four, it's, yeah, I mean, it's just such a stabby horse. I mean, this barn has been, none of the none of the runners, as far as, like, if you're talking Gulfstream Park horses, this barn hasn't shown anything. Yeah. So, it, and if this is the horse that jumps up, I would be the least surprised. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just kind of that shitty feel. The horse going to stretch out to two turns, but for the first time, a barn that hasn't won, I mean, who knows, you know. Who Why knows? not? Yeah. All right. If your bankroll could afford it, go deep there. Race four. Um, I, this is where I keep the one, Emily. I, I, you know, I just looked at the race and I said, it's, it's again, it's kind of a messy race. But I think the one, you see that big square, and I don't think he's a horse that needs to, to be off the pace. I think he can be closer up. I think it has mm -hmm. to do with the break. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I looked at his form. Uh, I, I looked at this 86 as a two-year-old, just, you know, I know it was on dirt, but it was at the same kind of distance. And he kind of probably was like just in over his head a little bit, off a lay, especially he was off a layoff. I like the race at Ellis Park, um, even though he got off slow, it was a good, strong closing kick and ran, a, ran the biggest figure. If that horse just kind of comes back and runs that figure, I think he wins this race. And in a, in a race where like, I, I just, other than that, I couldn't really figure out who could win this race. There's a lot of Crap horses. Yeah, I mean, the, the two Millers to me, the one being one and then the four being the other, because yeah. the four was actually a horse that you liked last time. And I know. Then that horse I just know. Was, completely, was completely done cakes when it missed the break. Um, so I, he was it's the other actually one. kind of a subtle, a subtle drop and, you know. Yeah, he was the other one. Just I just the, and it, it's just the price, too. I mean, that horse, you know, gets overlooked and kind of has yeah, an every yeah. other pattern, another other pattern going on and you know, yeah, yeah you no, know. I, I'm with you. I, I just didn't know what to do. And I was like, you know, because, you know, it, it was such it was such kind of a bad race though for him. You know, I was just like, I don't know how to evaluate horses. I know he's getting a drop. Well, I mean, if you remember that race, the horse missed the break. And then the horse that won yeah. was like lone flow. Yeah. I don't know if I wrote that in the extended comment, but I remember that because it was just, uh, you know, oh, yeah, the, no. the, it's how these turf sprints go. So, I mean, it's like the horse... Had, had yeah. like no chance, no chance. That was the other thing. Ways. That was the other thing you said. Um, um, you know, in this extended comes that that was important. It was like it was an inside kind of favorable lanes that day on the mm -hmm. turf, and this horse was wide too. So, look, I guess if you could afford, I, I, you know, I would use maybe both of these. I'm, I'm kind of leaning on the one, but I can't, I can't argue someone using both of these. 
I, I just didn't see anyone else that kind of stood out to me. I don't know about you, did. Was there anyone else in this race? There? Well, uh, um, the five, I mean, you just kind of have to mention it just as far as like the plot and does have speed, was a dual ex extra wide, another one that was super wide. Um, and just based on the plot and kind of that trip, um, had a far outside post yeah, last yeah, right, time, right. catch the yep. smaller field. Um, yeah. Yeah. Barn's been kind of cool though, right? I mean, they were very. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's another one that maybe they've been a little bit overly ambitious with placement, but I mean, like this horse, right? You look where he ran last time. It's like the horse was probably in a spot to compete. You could make an excuse because of the trip, but um, yeah, you know, we'll see. I mean, just in, in terms of another race that I I would want this horse on a ticket. I'm not against this horse in any in any okay. possible way. All right, I'm a little bit strong on the one, but uh, I think we included one. You know, if you yeah. playing, you want to include one, four, five, probably to get the best of everything there. Um, another <laughs> tough race for me. Uh, sorry, I'm not, I'm not offering a lot here. But, well, uh, I have a, the crazy idea for me in this race is the two. Okay. See, I didn't even like the two. I didn't even have the two on ticket. Just kind of a wire to wire kind of thing. Is that what you're thinking? That I mean, that's it. That's it. It's yeah. like you, you know, the horse is getting a drop is above the uh, par line. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. You know what I mean? Like it's Let's see, Let's see some of my notes here. There's there's a million reasons to to not like this horse and to not use it. So I recognize all that, but. At the same time, if this horse does just freaking get out there on the drop, on the layoff, yep. it's Maldonado. You know they're going to show speed. They're on the inside. So, I mean, I would uh, I'd probably be. Uh, when your other speed horse. I'd, I'd, probably be, I'd, I'd probably be the two, the two with the squares. That's what I would go, you know. Yeah, because I, I mean, even the five, like the five on surface, you know, on surface distance looks like she's out in front, but she's coming out of, you know. She's coming out of route races. I guess she did do a wide in that sprint, but that was on the turf as well. And now it's the dirt. It's like, I don't know. I don't oh, know. Yeah. That's that's yeah. like the crazy idea, the crazy idea in in that in that race. And then outside of that, I'm with you. It's you know the squares. The nine makes sense. Um, nine is more logical. Um, you know, five five and one. I, I one was kind of weird to me also because it's another one that's just you know. First start at this level, had a tactic last time, it's getting a rider change. Just if you're looking for any possible anything. Yeah, and I, I would include the three too, I'll be honest with you, because I think he's getting back to doing what he wants to do, sprinting on the dirt. You know, I mean, I like that plot better than the yeah, obviously the standard plot where you know you got the that's the difference, yeah. folks. When you see the standard plot, you got those races like the turf route included in there and some other things, but you know, when you look at just sprinting, you know, maybe this horse can pick some pieces up. Who knows? I mean, it's one of, it's again, another tough race on a tough sequence, in my opinion. So um, let's try to build something here. Let me, come okay. let me, let me think about here, this for a second. So I think um, I'm going to kind of, I don't know what your opinion is. I'm going to kind of use the two in race one mm -hmm. uh, as a key. Um, then I'm going to do all my spreading and I'm, I'm going to key with the one in, uh, in, in race four. Um, okay. so maybe that's one ticket, another ticket, maybe, um, keying the two in race two, keying the two in race two would be the other way to go. Mm -hmm. Right. And then maybe a ticket is that if we keep both twos, uh, okay. then we go a little bit deeper in that fourth leg with our one, five, six, but let's, let's, what do you think of something like that? The one race four is one five six. If we go two two, no right? one race four would be one four five, right? So one four five. Okay, yeah, I I, I forgot who we who we said we said three horses. Yeah, here. the two because race four is the two Millers one one and four. Oh right, right, right. right five right. and then the five is the plot. All right, so let me give me a second. And I'll put it up for everybody. Okay. Add a batter here. Yeah, I had the winner at the Saratoga there. That was good. <laughs> the one. Uh, by the way, uh, Flavian Pratt is, Pratt is starting to roll. 
in Saratoga. So watch him over the next couple of days. Okay, it's starting to get hot. Um, he's having a good day. Okay, and then one, four, five. Bring this up. Yeah, you know, this may be a little expensive, people, but I'm just trying to reflect what I think this looks like. So here's ticket one, Emily. I know, I know we probably you probably can trim down, but I went deeper to try to catch, especially if I'm keying two horses. So it's two in the first leg, uh, and one in the fourth leg and spreading around in those other legs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ticket two looks like this, where you know, we went with the two in the second leg, spreading in the first leg. Uh, I included that favorite, Emily. Um, especially when you have two, right? And what then uh, in race one of the six, know, two, three, six, seven. I think the three is going to be the favorite. No, oh, uh, currently, currently it's the six, but okay. I thought the three might be the favorite. I, well, I included the three, even though I'm, okay. I'm not on that horse. Um, just you know, like it just if the horse kind of just retains form for a good trainer, you know, I don't want to get okay. and then and then we this is where we went to two, excuse me, with the commas here, right? It's the slashes. Uh, two, two, and then we went to one, four, five, and just to get coverage there. So, I mean, we can come back with a pick four, two, and maybe, you know, that's another way to do this, but those are the three tickets. So, um, yeah, it shows you, it shows you how much of a strong opinion I have in this, in this sequence, but it's a way to play it around at least horses. I, I mean, looking, looking at race two, looking at the doubles, the two is going to be the favorite and then one, seven, it just flipped one, seven. I don't know, eight or nine, eight, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the hope here is, you know, you, you cash one, you, you, you click one with one big one, one medium sized one, even if your keys come in, this thing still is going to pay. So it's worth the mm -hmm. investment, I think. Um, just not, I don't feel 100% strong, but I feel, you know, it's an approach. <laughs> uh, I think, you know, I think it's about, let me see, I think the total cost of something like this would be, about 150 bucks, I think, is the budget. Can you keep keep that ticket up there just for a second? Just so I can look at something. Did I, did, there was another horse maybe I didn't include that you wanted. Uh, no, I just, um, I'm just. Oh, yes, like, yes, there was, right? Wasn't there the, the I'm sorry. We need to include the two, right, in the last leg. Oh, in the fifth, yeah, in the fifth. Yeah, yeah, so let me, uh, correction, correction, coming in. Let's get this camera out while I'm in here. Yeah, because, I mean, even those tickets, it's like you're playing against some, you're playing against some favorites. Like, in the fifth race, I mean, the 10 is probably going to be favored. That Baffert horse. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, yeah, we'll get, we'll, we'll, we'll get into the race a little bit more, like, you know. I know, about. but I'm just saying, like, from, like, because you are, you know, it's it's spreading. Yeah. It's like there's there's such a mistake that a lot of times people are, you know, they spread so much. But when they, you know, when you really look at it, it's like, well, if it goes, you have chalk in every leg. Like, you might want to try to shuffle the deck a little bit. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm about looking at, looking at even all of these tickets, there's, you know positive EV in each one. It's not just, you know, well, this oh, sequence yeah, as a whole is probably. Yeah. So that this is the correction, uh, adding two to leg five there. So that's going to increase your cost, but 30, this ticket 30 times five, well, this ticket is 75. Okay. Mm -hmm. This ticket is five, five, one, 25 and four. This is tickets 50. So that's 125. And then this ticket is six. Oh, I'm sorry, that other ticket must have, might have been the same thing. Six, uh, whatever. <laughs> you could do the math. This ticket's 45. So, I mean, you could play one of these, all of these combinations, use some stuff, you know, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what we think so far, you know. Uh, uh, let's go to Saratoga because that's – let's let's – um, okay. And then we'll go back to race one. So let me just. Okay. I did, I did this race in optics. Well, okay. Real quick, real quick. Uh, Ray Cotolo got a, a two, three, four, six double at Del Mar. Okay. I like that. Okay. Uh, so this this race um, is coming up as contentious. Um, you know, 
I was waiting for this two to come back. The only concern I had with this two, and you know, I got him uh, currently six to one. Uh, she um, she hasn't come back. Like you know, she she kept on getting scratched, so that worries me a little bit because I had her as a BTL. Uh, I kind of like the three. This horse is twelve to one currently. Uh, kick back in a debut. I thought it ran okay anyway. It was kind of a common race with the six and seven. And even though, uh, and she, even though the seven beat her, she beat the six. And the seven is three to one, and she's uh, twelve to one. Okay, and she got kicked back in that race. So for me, I rate her over because you know this the Chad Brown Ortiz connection is kind of low on the price on her. So I think if you're going to look at this race, there's value on the three. Um, you know, I valued this this first timer from. Uh, Chad Brown pretty low. So I thought this horse had a loss just based on some of the works I was seeing. And Pride is hot, like I mentioned. So, uh, you know, to me, I don't think this, this race is tough. The five is the favorite. I don't like the five. Um, did, you know, I just didn't like it. I thought this horse, you see the grit minus is a key word. Yeah. 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 So I was kind and, of against the horse. And like, I don't, I don't really like that layoff between the first and second start. I, I do not either. So, I don't like that at all. Yeah. Plus, also at this meet, it's like if you're waiting for Saratoga, you know, if that was like your excuse, you yeah. should have run already. You should have run yeah. already. Like, why, yeah. why are you waiting until the last two weeks? Like, exactly. it's, that's just negative. There's just negative stuff like reading between the lines. Yeah. So I think the three, the four is a little bit of a look. Um, you know, even the six is, you know, because he's, you know, he's 13 to one. Um, you got a little bit of kickback in So, yeah, take a look, maybe a spread, you know, maybe play one of these horses to win, maybe the three. It looks like it might be some value. Um, it's a race to play, I think, in race eight. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, and, and if you look in the ninth race, I did too. So if you look at it, maybe playing a double or what have you, this race is really tough. Um, or even a pick three, a late pick three. I thought the uh, four was a long shot look. Threes looks logical to me. So those are maybe two you want to include, maybe in a pick four. And the 11 looked okay. You know, it's kind of, it's, you know, again, it depends on the price, but look at the doubles. Uh, but these races uh, look pretty good. Look like maybe there's a pick three you can play around with. I don't have race 10, but uh, in looking, at, looking at the pools at Saratoga in this race eight, this two horse is looks very live. And it's currently really six, six, uh, it's the eighth race that's coming up in. Oh, oh this, that we just went yeah. over. this is the horse. This, this horse is, horse. is very. This horse looks very live, according to the pools. It was. It just clipped from six to seven to one, but looking. Just yeah, I, I, I like this. I, I, I had liked this horse when she was going to come right back after this better than looked effort, and she got scratched, yeah. and she's been scratched and scratched. It's a Nick Zito horse, and so yeah, that's why I'm. Everyone's been waiting for this horse, I think, and, and so now I'm a little bit cold on this horse but you know still she's still value it's still it's still good price yeah still a good price still a good price um i you know i just don't like to your point you know why like, why what i mean this kind of like scratch like well she was like, scratched she was entered i mean you can make excuses for the scratches because she was scratched as a main track only and the race ran on the turf on july okay. 20th and then she was a bet scratch on the 27th so that was like the one week turnaround it was actually entered on the main track and then she was entered on 814. That was also a turf race, and it's a scratch race and unavailable. So either yeah. they were looking to run on the main track and the races didn't come off, like they were trying to sneak one by, or right. this race was coming up in the condition book, and they're like, we're just going to go there instead. Okay. So, I mean, you can you can kind of make some I, – I know what you're saying. You do want to yeah. see them back on, short, on shorter rest, but at the same time, you can kind of – make some logical reasons why, you know, they yeah, I, 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 I kind of look at those excuses different, a little bit differently. I, I know what you're saying, but why are you entering the horse with turf? Cause you're trying to get, a, you're trying, trying to, to get sneak a, one by. Yeah. Well, you, I don't know if you're trying to get a sneak one by, you're just trying to get a softer feel. That's, the, that's what I meant. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's what I meant. Like sneak like yeah. a, like a, you know, Okay. Yes. Like one, I don't know. I guess I'm not saying it right. Like, cause it's not like sneak one by like, Oh, they won't know this horse is live like for a claim or whatever, but yeah, right. like trying to catch us on. Yeah. Yeah. And Castellano is riding, you know, top notch at this meet. We've talked about that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, look, two, two is, two is okay. Three is, three is okay. And six has got a little bit of a look. Uh, and the four is the first or so those are the horses, uh, but should be a good race.
Should be great. In the in the top four selections, Anthony Stabile doesn't have the two in his top four, and Andy Sterling has the two as his fourth choice. Oh, so okay. so right. this horse is probably under the radar. Yeah, right. I, I thought they mentioned this horse a couple of times. I mean, I watch that show every day, and I think they. I'm sure uh, David David probably has the horse on top. You can almost guarantee. Yeah. Dave, David did his homework and he watched that race at Keeneland. I can I can somebody does somebody want to confirm that? I almost feel like it's, it goes without saying, but I'm yeah. sure that's the horse that David. I, I know they mentioned about. this horse like the, maybe with the first or second time she got scratched. Um, oh, okay. So I don't know. You know, maybe they know something about you know the horse. I don't know. Okay, I don't, I don't pay much. I don't, I don't, I pay attention to those shows that I don't want to be disrespectful, to, but I pay attention to those shows to see who they're kind of leaning on so I can maybe go against. Not, not because they're not good or whatever. I'm just looking to see where they're leaning. You know, wise guy money might be leaning or whatever, so I can play around. Okay, because uh, we talked about this a lot, a lot, right? And we, you're not, you're really playing against other people, right? Yes. Uh, and so you got to know what they're thinking. And uh, sometimes, like, if I think that I see something sneaky and they saw it, it you know, I know it's going to take an edge off my horse. And so that's what I want to know. Okay. Um, let's go to, because they're four minutes out at Delmar. Delmar race one. Okay. So, okay, with the grid, let's see a little bit about this, too. Because I, you know, I, I, I just, I know this horse is coming really hasn't run on dirt, right? So that's the big deal on, with this horse. But uh, from what I saw on the, the synthetic, this horse ran really well, hasn't, I like that last race. Um, you know, I'm okay with the spacing. Uh, not an interesting jockey selection, right? He hasn't had that great of a meet, uh, has he? Well, no, in, uh, oops, sorry, I have the wrong, the wrong race. Uh, race one? Yeah. Oh, Drew? Yeah, no, he sucks. He's terrible. It's not even that great of a meet. He's just, he's not, just not good. He's good. <laughs> what? You're, why are you laughing? He's not good. <laughs> I just... <laughs> he's getting super live mounts and he's like botching like every ride. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. not good. So maybe he's having a good time in California. Okay. The. Yeah, no, I, I mean, just... when he, yeah, I mean, when he was at Arlington Park, he was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, you, you, there's no night at all. Arlington Park. I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe I don't, I don't want to like speak ill of the dead, but like, you know, this but is. But you know, I'm just park. saying that when you're when you're at, when you're in California, you can get distracted a bunch among things. I've seen it a million times as a rider. Uh, they come in there and have a good time. They forget that why they're there. Um, I, I think the two is more of a negative play. I just looked at like the feel. The three I thought was a little topish coming back in the eleven days, right? I, you know, I was just mm -hmm. concerned about that horse regressing. Um, the, you know, the, the what four. About the one? We kind of passed over the one a little bit. I, right? yeah. I gave that horse a look. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Be okay. uh, I think we talked about it real quick, just because of uh, the quick turnaround. I think it was like, like, um, it's just because I have a hard time seeing it on there. The. Yeah, just like the timing, like it was like a rush, it's like a rider change. Base was on this horse before. Um, I don't know, just could send. Yeah, he's got to trip out a little bit. I mean, I don't like the yeah. slow break from the rail even. Yeah, I mean, if it's just, yeah, I mean, projecting this horse is getting back. Yeah. He's kind of run, uh, that, that, was, that was the other thing, is the horse has kind of run this form cycle before where it's like it's run a big race, sucked, sucked, and then kind of popped with the big race. So I don't, you know, I don't know. Okay. 15 to one yeah, for the yeah. stabbers, for the stabbers. Um, yeah, see, this is what I mean. I just looked, I went through the form and I was like, hey, you know, the five, yeah. the six was one I was on though. Uh, just because he, yeah. just a drop, you know, and you yeah, know, absolutely. You know, this is where it makes sense. This is place, this is place getting, where he should win. Getting three to two. And then, uh, yeah, and I was, I thought this horse was okay. I left this horse in actually mm -hmm. um you know because he ran okay on dirt right both i mean we don't have a figure for that because that's the little sounds a short sprint but let, let's let's say if he's a seven four, four, horse, four horse field four horse field and one of the horses lost the rider okay but still i mean 
I'm just if you if you just look at his last figure against better horses, he ran a 71 on the turf. Okay. okay. I'm just saying that let's say he's better on dirt. He's a he's a contender here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's 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 the way I kind of looked at him. I was like, okay, if you go on a seventy one, let's say you go on a seventy five, he's 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 one of the top three choices in this race because no one else has been able to do that. All right, they're going in the they're going in the gate. Okay. All right. Good luck, everybody. That's uh that's in the pool. Oh, six broke through the gate. Uh, that's going to change everything. Not for me. I'm gonna, that's okay. Because I'm keyed on the two. and. Well, no, it'll change everything because if it, now you are you end up like the favorite or something. Oh, no, they're not scratching this horse. No, he didn't get away. He's fine. I, I would love to see a statistic on that. Like, what, like, you know, based on their odds, what's their ROI, you know, like in the money. <laughs> I love how they do like a vet, like the vet check is just like, uh, oh, pet the horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> feels like, feels like a horse. Okay, yeah. let's go. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Shit, I could be a vet. I pet, I pet animals. I'm good at that. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> Man alive. The one's really soon as your one. Let's go. Tyler Hard lead, baby. That's your one shot. One shot. Make it count. Seven's forcing the two to go down. Three is sitting up truck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Goodbye. Three times. Well, the six breaking through the gate, probably not the best. Six to five, you see the three went off. Yeah, yeah, it ended up. Well, I mean, that might have been with the gate. Who knows if people canceled bets or something. My long shot beat you all. <laughs> what was your long shot? Seven. Seven ran good in his wide the whole way. I mean, he could have oh. sat a better trip if he did. No. Well. He wasn't gonna win. I mean, the one the one tried to win. Yeah, he was <laughs> the seven just happened was, to pass the tiring no, horse. No, no, he didn't. Seven was right. Seven was in the duel. He was three wide the whole time. He was just behind them. Yeah, watch but the, just behind. Watch just the race behind. Again. Just, watch the that race spot. Again. That spot is better. Really? I don't think so. Yeah, and maybe. when you have the when you have the rail and you have to send. Oh, no, even have the round. Well, no, but, but he said he made strength. the lead. So I'll, I mean, I'll tell you this one. I mean, all three, all three of those horses are giving C pluses. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe he beat him. I mean, oh. yeah. No, well, the one maybe not. Maybe yeah, the one. Was he is, Joe? Uh, Joe. No finish, but. Joe. Humor. Okay, nine seven. Flip my screen. Okay, we got the Saratoga. It should be a good one. Oh, we did include that three in one. Yeah, the three got the three got included on one of the tickets. Yeah, so now we need the two next ones. Yeah. Which kind of chalks out a little bit. Right? Yeah, I just don't think those Gulfstream horses are translating. California. No. Yeah, they're not. 
I mean, it's a tier below at least, right? you know, this time of the year. Now, you know, it's because, you know, obviously Gulfstream goes from Gulfstream in the winter <laughs> to colder <laughs> after that, after the spring meet. It's still colder. So, you know, if you saw those horses come from colder, would you? <laughs> would you? Uh, right. Right? I mean, because that's yeah. what it is. Going in the gate at Old Saratoga. So yeah, yeah, three I like here, and I like the, uh, the four, six. I gotta look. The two, yeah, obviously, give you everybody. So. But it looks like a race where we can get a price, catch a price, if you get lucky. Here. And they're off. Oh, by the way, uh, I don't—I haven't watched since like the fourth, fifth race at Saratoga. Emily. The rail in the stretch is deadly. You, you just horses just look like they're going to win the race up the rail, and then they just stop. So it's mm. something to watch. Two's in the pocket. One through seven are going at it. Not good for the three. I mean, three and seven are going. At it. I mean, two has run, just kind of stuck. Run, yeah, he's just got to get. To, but it, I, he's got to move to the outside. Wait, but I thought you. Oh, the rail's dead. If you run up the rail, you. Oh, okay. Run. I thought. Well, you said you said dead lead, and so I was There's like, no dead rail. that mean like yeah, okay. You're dead. Three well, there they run got to the outside. Come on, horse, you have run so much run. Go two, go. Let's put your dead rail. That horse looks like it needs turf. That two horse, no run. Classic, classic Zito. You see the rail, though. No, I mean, the rail is dead on that on, on, on the on the inside of the stretch. Just horses. It's just hard to, I mean, it's hard to tell. Like, I don't know who the seven was. No, no, I'm telling you because I've been watching races for two days, so I'm just telling you. It's just right, but I mean, if I was watching, like, a, you know, visually, I mean, I I would think that the seven would have backed up like a lot, like a lot sooner. You know what I'm saying? Well, he was I, one of the choices. I mean, he, I, backed, he backed up pretty good, he, but he he's he's one of the favorites in the race. Okay. I mean, a three for sure, but that's a long shot. How much on the? What are we talking? What's the rail? How many paths? No, it's right on that rail when they get it right, like where the where the seven is right now. Okay, well the that's seven. Good. Okay, all right, because yeah. that's that's about where the seven got tired because before that he was kind of like. But it's, you know, it's too, in the stretch where it's really noticeable in the stretch, not mm. not so much around the track or whatever. It's kind of weird. I just been watching yeah. it two days. It's like horses, like you know, like coming off the rail. You know, like they, they leave a wide open. We've been leaving some wide open rails, and horses have been running up and through there, and you just think they just get like the mid stretch and stop. It's just it's really weird. I knew the three was dead when he was on the rail, too. Yeah, the three for sure. But that horse is like 22 to 1. Yeah, that horse was over. It should have been 22 to 1, though. That five looked like he took probably took some kickback. Then <laughs> kind of looks like a different color. Okay, so race two. I guess if you're playing to pick four here, um, we told you the two was working well. Five had kickback in his debut. Nine had kickback in his debut, but a little concerned about the, uh, you know, 
the whole idea about uh, Gulfstream horses translating. So two look like the horse, Emily. I don't know. Is he getting? Yeah, no, they opened up at five to two. Yeah. Yeah, this horse is very live. The six yeah. also is taking are taking a lot of money. The six horse, which is the one that I mentioned, uh, it's off of fifteen to one morning line. That was the horse that worked ten flat at the sale. So maybe. And I think that horse is going to drift based on the pools too. Okay. Did they have what did they have on the work on that horse? Six. Yeah. Yeah, you know, okay, you know. Um the only thing the only thing weird was Maldonado was on that horse in the works. And he's not on him in the race. I don't know if that matters, but just something to note. Although not as on the one, Raspoli on the. Uh... Uh, there's a comment uh, from Jeff Jolly. By the way, John hit the try at Saratoga race two yesterday with their long shot four. Pack. Yes, yeah, I hope you. Yeah, that was great because it was the favorite, and I hope, you know, it was, if you did it all, and used the one in third, I think it uh, paid two hundred dollars for fifty cents. So that was really good value. It was like a, it was like an overwhelming. It was like a four to five shot won the race. Good. I'm glad you got that one. Well, we got uh, race two is 21 out. Do you want to look at Travers real quick or no? Yeah, let's look at the Travers. Okay. This is the plot for the Travers. Uh, the first thing I think about when you think about a race like the Travers is uh, who's going to get 10 furlongs. I mean, so like who's, who's best suited. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe they all can get it, but who could be competitive at this level of 10 furlongs. And you can see that early voting looks like the clear early lead, but um, I, I'm a little suspect with him at 10 furlongs at this level. Now I think he's going to run better than he ran in the last race because I think this is kind of, people think the, the, a different way, Emily, but in in the uh, Jim Dandy, I think he went too slow. <laughs> yeah. And he kept he kept the closers on top of him. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think what he needs to do is go faster early. Now, I still think he's vulnerable late, but I think that's a better way for him to go in this race. So if he does that, um, I think it helps more of a horse that's coming from a little bit further back versus the horses maybe mid pack or chasing him. I think he may. Well, soften. That's what I'm thinking. Or, you know, if someone could sit right off of him, and that could be the six. Right. He may be fine. May be fine. I mean, I think the six is a legitimate favorite. I'm not going to argue with the six. But uh, of all the horses, I thought that might have a better chance to maybe complete the exact. I thought Rich Strike had a shot. Uh, I know he looks like a circle here on surface and distance, but I think that has to do with the Belmont. And in that Belmont, I think he was compromised by kickback and just his trip. I didn't like his trip in that race. He was inside horses. Um, but I think he's a legitimate closer. Uh, and uh, where I'm, I'm a little suspect to Zandon, you know, at the distance. Um, I'm just not sure he's, I think he's great at eight furlongs, but he's another horse I'm not quite sure he's got the same kick at, not, at 10 furlongs. You've seen that in the Belmont. Um, you see, I mean, the Belmont, I've seen that in the Derby, see, seen that in the, uh, the last race. I'm not sure he's that kind of horse. Um, I don't like the horses that are going to be chasing other than that percentage. They're going to be chasing, the, you know, uh, the seven early voting. So I'm, I'm thinking the two might be an exotic play at a price. That's that's how I was thinking of the race. So well, there's no notes on the three. Did you watch those and not put them in, or do we know what's going on? Oh, they're not in there. Oh, I missed that. I, I, I'll have to go back and do that. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I don't give this horse a chance. I mean, that's 
Oh, well, I know, but that's just the one unknown because maybe maybe you don't give him a chance looking at him right now, but you might watch his races and be like, holy shit, this guy's a, you know? Uh, he, no, he's not. <laughs> Are you talking about know, Are know, you talking yeah, about I, stream versus I know what you're I know exactly what you're saying, but this yeah. it's just why we do the notes. Yeah, no, I got you. I got you. But I I, I uh, and, and for the reason that it's easy for you to see that, but this horse is getting a lot of attention from people. I don't know what how that will translate on race day, but yeah, well, yeah. I mean, he's, I he looks him, terrible wish, on the he looks terrible I, on the plot, but I wish him the best. Uh, but pretty much. What about what about the one? Right. I mean, the one is the one is coming off an A minus. Is that is that a regress type A minus? Uh, I didn't do that note, so I can't tell you. But I mean, it, let's look at the extended comment. What he said: um, "Nifty inside move by Drew into the stretch." Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, kind of looks like a little bit. I of mean, mouth. look at. Yeah, I, look at yeah, look at look at his look at his pat look at his pattern too. It's like two good races, one clunker. Two good races, one clunker. Two good yeah. races. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening next? Yeah. I, I, I and that could be that could be a regress. I think it's a regress because he, it's one of those races that he won with a style that he doesn't win with. You know, mm -hmm. he's more kind of pushing the pace, and I think this pace and then the distance are going to be to his undoing a little bit. Uh, the one thing you know, I picked what was it? Uh, yeah, I picked this horse in the Arkansas Derby, right? But the one thing I don't like about this horse, we talked about it before, I don't like his action. Yeah. Um, that's why I think he's inconsistent. I, I think yeah. he's, I think he hurt himself when he runs, I'll be honest with you. So I don't trust him at this level with these horses and so forth. So that's why, you know, even though he's got an A minus his last race, he did take advantage of a trip. Um, I'm, well, it I'm, just looks, I mean, just looking, looking at that pattern, like more and more, it just seems like he just kind of puts himself like over the top, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it, it's, or maybe the connections put the horse over the top, you know? Like, they have him in good shape, they run it back, he runs well, and then he just, you know... Yeah, I just think it's... Thing. And he's probably going to try to get that same... He's probably going to try to get the same trip as he did in the Haskell because he was drawn inside that day, and he's not going to get the lead in here. Yeah, it, it could be. Uh, let's see how... I mean, and plus, I mean, again, this is, you know, Drew sucking. Who knows what he's going to do? I mean, yeah. if they send, they're then they're really over because his yeah. plot is I, terrible. I, I yeah, I just he's I, a toss. Yeah. This horse leaves like a toss. <laughs> if he's if he's like the second choice, I would. Right. I what is this horse on the morning line? Okay. Three to five. Three to five. Cyberman. Yeah, he's Three. the second choice. Seven to two. Seven to two. Three. Oh, sorry. Two. You see what I'm looking at? I'm looking at decimal. Sorry. Seven okay. seventy two. Three three point three point five on the uh, <laughs> sorry, my, my brain my brain knew what was going on, but okay. my my mouth not so much. But he's still uh still the second choice. With yeah, he's the still six, the six is favored. Yeah. Um and then the five. The five is the third choice. What the heck? Uh yeah, I don't I don't know. Um I mean Maybe he's got upside because he's lightly raced, but this is a major test for, for this horse, right? Um, how's he plot on this? Yeah. I, 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 feel, I, like you know what? Uh, I feel like this is this is one of those horses that if the morning line had put him at 10 to 1, people would gravitate towards him and he'd be the wise guy horse at 9 to 2. Right. But the fact that he is 9 to 2, people are probably going to be like, eh. Yeah, because let's, I, I, let's see what Zandon's all about, or they'll go to that Bill Mott. They'll go to the four, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I remember correctly. I don't. Would I? Let me see that that, cur that curling race. Oh, I don't remember it too well. Let me just bring it up. I just want to see if anybody came out of <clears throat> that race to rerun. I, I just think when you get to the point, you're starting to get to the point later in this three-year-old season, you kind of know the horses, you know, like, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, no one's, 
I don't feel like there's big surprises out there. You know, you kind of know who they are and it becomes more, you know, tactics and who's in form right there and then. These three year olds. Yes, you got one horse came back and the Smarty Jones ran third. How'd he do in that race? Freedom Minister. He ran third in that race. Yeah, I, I just think they're notch below these horses, you know. Um, and here's the thing with Zandon, right? I mean, you know, he just kind of, I know he probably needed that race. But you know what I'm saying? Well, he just he just seems like he's got a punch at like nine furlongs, right? But I'm yeah. just just worried about him having that same punch at a mile and a quarter. Um, and 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 two, you know, Rich Strike in this race. Um, I thought like on the Belmont, I probably would have kickback if I had the keyword back then. Kickback minus, right? Seemed a little keen, held up at the back, he ate dirt, you know. Um, I, I just, it just, you know, I think they had him actually closer than he should have been, you know, like they, they should just let him, I think they let him settle, makes one run here uh, and maybe gets up for a piece. Cause I think he's, he's got some races that are good enough, obviously the Derby. Um, and if he can get some flow, I'm just thinking maybe he can pass some of these horses that I'm going to be chasing. I think um, the seven who should be sent. I mean, um, I got short of here, but, you see, the pace was really slow last time. I think this horse's best chance is to try to run them off their feet. Um, and so he can hang around for a piece. I think the most horse likely to run them down is the six and then maybe the two. That's kind of the way I see the race. It's not that exciting. But I guess I'm, I'm a little bit negative on the eight who's going to get played, and I'm negative on the one who's going to get played. Did you do a focus line for this? I will. I haven't done it okay. yet. Okay. Yeah. Curious. Yeah. Yeah. So I would make Epi's, and I'm just kind of thinking through this a little bit, I'd probably make him about eight to five. Uh, he's going to be shorter than that, but I'm just saying that was what I would accept. Um, mm -hmm. And I'd probably make Rich Strike, you know, eight to one um, as a long shot. And uh, and then I would probably have, um, you know, Zandon probably, yeah, I'm going to have him about, you know, five or six to one maybe. Cyberknife, I would have about eight. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I'm thinking just off the top of my head right now, but... Yeah, I'm going to do, just so everyone knows, if you if you buy our silver plan, you go to our website and uh, you buy the silver plan for the day. I'm going to be doing the, this pick six, like the last six races. Plus, I'm doing the uh, the race, uh, oh, what is it, Jackie's Warrior race, the fifth race. Oh, which wait, is the can we look at that? Oh, yeah, I like some. Is he going to is he gonna lose finally? I, I don't know if he's going to lose, but I, I, I like the horse. I think I, I think the horse got a legitimate chance to win, and it was the horse that ran second to him last. Oh time. yeah, he can lose. He can lose. He can definitely I, lose. That's seven. Finally. That's seven. Finally. <laughs> that's seven. Last time, I don't. So what happened was that horse. They changed tactics. Now I hope they don't. I hope they go back and let this horse kind of like be closer up and not too far back. That's the number seven here. Yeah. Um And I mean, this horse came flying, and he got. Dirt in his face, everything. He, he ran huge that day. I like to see him kind of maybe sit just off of it and, you know, make the run and, you know, we'll see see what happens. Well, the thing is with the seven, because I know this horse fairly well. He started out in California and then he was at Oak Lawn earlier this year. He's like been at every track I've ever done notes at. He can, He's kind of a slog. He can be sloggy. Mm. Yeah, I think they change. I think they actually changed the tactic. I don't think he was sloggy. I just think they changed the tactics last time. And I hope they go back and change the tactics back and let him mm. be a little bit closer. But he was down. He, this is why he he's probably going to be closer today. Is he's he's moving off the inside. He's yeah, he's drawing. He's, yes. he's moving. He's been on the inside those last three races, and this is a horse that is better when he's outside. Yeah, it's really good. And and, and yeah. the other thing, if the track's still playing the way it's playing, um, that could be really good, right? So mm -hmm. pay attention. You know, there's no rain or anything. And, they don't put any war on this track in the next few days. It'd be interesting to see. So, yeah, I, I, I included this race just because I like the seven and I wanted people to know that. You know, so that was my opinion of that race. Yeah. And yeah, because be the thing, I mean, the thing with Jackie's Warriors, you know, I mean, he's, he obviously, like, he is what he is. But when you, just looking at it, every plot since uh, maybe the, the Churchill Downs race. Yeah, because that was the second off. He's been like, lone quadrant one like yeah. as a square with like two other tomato cans as like quad four <laughs> circles like literally like if we, if we double click and look at the plots it's like 
you know, I mean, he's run really well, but he's been in spots where he's supposed oh, to I run agree. really well. I agree. And, you know, just the fact that you look at this plot, it's like, okay, yeah, the seven, the seven can press, so can the five, so can the six. Um, and then Jackie's Warrior, you would expect off those races for him to be up in the top of quadrant one. He's been getting soft leads, I think, or soft. Well, you know. yeah, I mean, I get, I guess that's broke. partially, but, but I mean, again, still in comparison, it's like he should be. And he hasn't been breaking on Friday. Like, you know, maybe he's changed, maybe yeah. he's learned how to run, maybe, but he kind of, he's not quite as bad, but he, but he kind of reminds, he reminds me, what was that Baffert horse? Like, was it last year, two years ago, Emily? The, the Philly sprinter? I can't think, and we bet her against her in the Breeders' Cup. Oh, Gamine. 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 And it was like she was getting all those things that we were like, finally, in the Breeders' Cup, right? We made that big, you know. Yes, yes, right? yes. And, and, and exactly. so, uh, and we were, we finally were rewarded, you know, because we were like right about well, it. Well, because we just knew it was like once she's going to get a scenario that, she, you know, isn't favorable. Yeah. You know. So, so this may be another case. Maybe, maybe even if Jaguar does okay in this race, um, maybe the Breeders' Cup is, you know, if there's something, if the plot looks even worse, that might be an opportunity. So, but yeah. I'm, I'm taking a shot. Uh, yeah. In, in that race, especially it closes out to pick five, it could be monstrous. Uh, and, and I'm going to do races eight through thirteen. And I, I just want to tell you because I'm not going to give it up here because you have to buy it and you'll see it. <laughs> but I've got a real strong opinion in the personal ensign, and it's not the okay. favorite. Very strong okay. opinion. Okay. And uh, so I'll leave that at that. <laughs> so okay, so that was the Travers. Um, we're getting ready for race two, almost six minutes out still. Uh, this was race nine again for people coming in late at Aqueduct. I did, um, Aqueduct, my goodness. Uh, Saratoga, I did the, uh, the, the, the focus of this race. Uh, fours is at six to one, Emily. So my long shot idea went way to the win. I had this horse at eight to one. So obviously other people are seeing something with this horse. Um, and um, other than that, I don't see major differences that would highlight things. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, that's the three is, you know, getting bad. He's the favorite. You know, that's kind of my top right horse. The 11 is eight to one, which is why I kind of have in there. So, yeah, the four is, uh, if he kind of floats, maybe he got bet early. And if he floats, it's a horse to look for yeah, at a price. But that's race nine. Okay. So the two is trading at two to one now. I'm way at uh, Del Mar. Mm -hmm. So that kind of looks like the horse. The six has drifted a little. Just a little bit. So what looking about ahead the, looking ahead at the doubles, eight, five, ten in the next race? Which kind of lines up with the morning. What about, line. What about a pick four like that? I mean, it's a little bit expensive for a pick four. Probably not going to play that, but. Uh, well, the pick five is still alive. Oh, yeah. So who do we have? Because I mean, oh, if, if, the two, if the two wins here, the pick five is still alive. Okay. So, okay. So we'll time that. So, I mean, if you were starting a pick four, you could, could use the other horses, you know? Yeah. Let me put the ticket that was alive. <laughs> so that's essentially what I was going to do anyway. So, yeah, no, no need to do it. I forgot about the pick five ticket, but. Yeah, sometimes you got to bite the bullet there, of course. Pick fives, like, like you know, all, all these multi-race wages are different, right? Pick five is different. I, I hope, it's, yeah. Right, pick four is different. You know, like, your inclusion's got to change from pick fours to pick sixes, obviously, because it's a different type of sequence and you're trying to do a different thing. Pick six is really essentially you're trying to stay alive. That's basically the pick six, because it's going to pay. Um, well, on a payout day, it's going to pay. Pick sixes? Yeah, I'm not talking about what? 20 cent pick sixes. I'm talking about. Yeah, pick okay. Six. I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah. So a pick six is. A, it's a pay. That's why I said if it's a pay, if it's a payday, yes. But if yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, other, uh, yeah, other than, yeah, I don't even see playing those other picks sixes unless it's a payday. So, but I mean, a real pick six, you just want to stay alive. Traditional pick six, I should say. Uh, pick five, a little bit different, you know. Uh, you want to you want to take your shots, but where you're not taking the shot, you want to make sure you just leave a little room for error. And then the pick four is more like you know you have a strong opinion about at least two of the races. And you want to build around those that strong opinion for the most part. 
or even in the one, you know, depends on the fuel size, but even in one race, you have a really strong opinion. You want to build around it. Um, yeah, and I, I think that's kind of the differences. We got, oh, we got a lot of comments, Emily. You look at the comments? Um, I might have missed a few. No, I did miss many. Do you want to read them out? Okay, I don't even know where to go. Let's see if we can start. Hi, I've got a two, three, really. Do. He's due. I got a new do. By the way, John, I got that. That was the last thing I saw. Okay, by the way, John. Uh, live link Piz. Okay. Seven got sleepy from race. Uh, what's up? Rob Dix in chat. What's that mean? Just. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read the comments from now. <laughs> 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 Taking, I'm going to take the reins. <laughs> Tactic minus. Okay. The seven got sleepy from the fast race in race one being wide. Got it. Tess Thomas, what's up, Optics family? Family being John, you and I in the chat, everybody that's here in the chat. And then Ray Cotolo. The four and six will win at Del Mar if they know it's good for them because somebody is alive trying to catch a double. So I'm okay with that. And then Tim Carey, please. Okay. Please to me to take over to take over the chat. All right, I got it. <laughs> all, right, all right. Hey, I'm 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 doing good enough. I'm multitasking past the age of sixty, so I'm good. I'm doing okay. <laughs> I, I'm I'm looking at the screen and I'm actually broadcasting, so I'm 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 getting there. All right, two one minute out. Double and pick three. All right. Who do you have in uh in the third race? That third race could be uh could be wild. That race tends just so people know it is mind. impossible. So if you have an opinion about a long shot in that race, go for it. It's 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 impossible that race. I went with a horse in that race. I thought about a horse in that race that I don't even like. I watched him run at Prescott and I don't like him at all, but I still have to include him just because it's that's how bad the race is and he's 15 to one in the morning line, the number 10 horse. So, you know, I, I had to include him, but that's how bad that race is. It's, it's terrible. This is all about the gate here at five furlongs, right? Mm -hmm. All about the gate speed. Gate speed's so underrated, don't you think? I mean, you know, it's like, um, everyone talks about pace figures, like first quarter or something like that, but what's more important is how to get out of gate. And um, that's what we try to do with the plot. I don't know if you noticed, but you know, we, when we look at the X axes, you, we, we, we don't also take into the effect of the speed of the race for the first quarter. We also take the positional speed, which is really important. Um, but I think that's why it's really pretty accurate. It does a good job. So, okay. The nine looks good on the trap. That golden, uh, Gulfstream horse. Yeah, he does. What was my, what is he at? What's his odds? It's like, uh, 22, 20, 26 currently. I might even want to include him in long shots. I did. Two all nine, two nine all. Oh. Look at that. He's out there. There goes the two. Yeah, Stop no. the race. Stop the race. Who's the seven? The seven is, oh, a, is a Brian Corner horse. A horse is kind of cheap, I think. 10 is going to be the only horse that I think could have upset you here. It's nine's going to win. Nine is going to win. No, no, two's going to win. Oh, no, two just switched leads. That's going to be close. He's got a key. The 10. And oh, that was, the, the, the nine, what did do at the end of nine? What did, what did nine do at the end? Just kind of looked like he flipped the leads or something. Two is disappointing. Just, 
too is really disappointing there. That's a tough one. Well, like both those horses, like they just didn't want to win. You know, they were kind of both like kind of grit minus. 25 to 1 of that nine, too. Oh, my goodness. I know. That's that. That's the power of the kickback. Like the only Gulfstream horse that's that's shown anything. We talked back about that. To back, uh, back to back winners for that bar. Hot hand. What was it? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Jonathan Wong. He was getting, he got the trip though, that 10. He tripped out. Uh, but still. Yeah, I mean, the horse did get a good trip. I mean, the speed usually. Well, I think, the, I think well. the nine flips leads right at the end here again. Does something. I like, yeah, he flipped leads she right does, here. She does, yeah. yeah. But she's kind of drifting out a little bit, and I think that's why. Oh, she was, she was tired. She was yeah. Tired. Yeah. This is yeah. not a good race. I mean, she was battling that too the whole time. And, Looked like the two was going to come back at her, and then she came back at the two. Wow, tough break. Hey, but you know, give you a live horse at twenty-five to one. Man. Uh, you know, last week we did our question, Emily. Do you remember the question? Uh, we did a couple questions. Uh, right, the question sequel, we did the movie, the movie sequel. The, yeah, what was the best remake? Oh the yeah, movie? yeah, remake. That's what it was. And you know which one we forgot? I don't know if you even know this movie. Was uh, the thing? You mm, ever seen that movie? I do know this. I do know this movie. Which and version? There's been three versions. Well, the Carpenter version, yeah. um, but it's not one that I particularly like for somebody that likes that genre and director as much as really you like yeah see that's the reaction i usually get no no i just yeah i, I mean it was better than the i liked it better than the original i guess the other one that, that but i guess the remake wasn't as good i think the original was probably the best was the invasion of body statues which they made about 50 oh times. that's really good yeah the original was it, good. It, the original is the one I'm, I'm thinking of. That's it, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. black and white. It's like yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Kevin McCarthy, where it has like yeah, like the communism like yeah. theme going on. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a good one. Um, to me, that was the best one. Um, it's a show. It's but does, West, know, does Westworld count? Is Westworld is that a remake? Westworld? I don't. I didn't watch either. Westworld was a movie, but I don't. But the but the remake was the TV show. Okay, did you watch either? So yeah, so the original, the TV, the, the remake's much better. The remake's a really good show. I mean, I only saw the first season because I don't have HBO. I don't, you know, and I got kind of busy with other things, but I thought it was a quality show. It had some, mm -hmm. it had some really good actors. I thought it was a good good show, really good acting. Um, I, but I didn't see it after season one. You know, Ed Harris was in it, Anthony Hopkins. Uh, um, can't think of that other guy. It was really good. Uh, I think. Oh, he was in. You ever see the movie Source Code? No. Oh, it's pretty good. I like it. It's like kind of a to me. It's like it's uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. He plays like so, this. just real quick. This race yeah. three coming up. The five opened at four to five. Kind of wild. Wow. All right. Watch that, Jake Gyllenhaal. Good movie. It's um, it's kind of like one of those. Uh, he's got to go back in time. And, it's technology kind of thing, but it, it's it's really good. I think it's a sleeper. Okay. Five. It's 
kind of short for the final. Oh, we'll, 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 let's watch the Saratoga. Go mm -hmm. ahead. The floor drifted. Yeah, I thought it's he would drift. drift a little bit. Yeah, I thought he would drift a little bit. Yeah, shuffle back right at the start. Can't get away from there. I mean, position's important on this turn, of course. They get floated wide the turn. She does. He does. Hmm. It always confused me, you know, when they have like a, uh, a Linda's gift being, uh, is that a male horse or a female horse? It always confused me. It's female, okay. It's pretty solid pace. Let's see what the second quarter is going to be up here. Solid pace. Two, nine cent, a pretty good trip. Look at this unit. You know. She didn't know where she had nowhere to go. Seven over the top. Seven's got to be a price now. The long Seven. shot, Chad Brown. Wow. Flavor and Pratt. Remember, I told you he's kind of riding pretty, pretty strongly. Yeah, that was a, that was a strong finish. Four did not, didn't have it, but I mean, it never got any kind of room. Okay. I don't know how you can get to be at the back of the pack and then, you know, <laughs> you know, not even have a comfortable trip like to park and then, then they try to angle out and you can't wait. Like there's no deep closing. You gotta be like around mid pack the best in Saratoga. You can't be a deep closer on this turf course. Three looked like he had traffic problems too in that race, but 14 to one. Three, everyone, three, everyone three, right two. now, the longer priced Chad Brown <laughs> wins the race. The three is the worst to watch, Terry. You got, you got squeezed at the start. Damn, that's a good little try there. Even the exactor. Yeah. Yeah, it was a tough race. You know? yeah, that's why I think we, you know, I think this is a good little note here, Emily, that we put in, like, you know, like how to assess the race, you know, how to maybe go play the race. And so if you, it's a spread race and you like somebody, I think the 10th race is going to be similar. Um, you can really gauge maybe, you know, how to kind of wager on a race, especially if you're playing multi-race wagers, you know, like you have an assessment. Um, there was no clear cut favorite in this race. You're going to get a price. And if you use that angle, the old Chad Brown, has he been at the track, Chad Brown, since his incident? You would have. You would know. I I'm not following. I, was I haven't like, seen him. I just thought you might. You know, there might have been a word about. Oh, him. like chatter? No. No. Okay. Well, maybe I don't know. Just chat. Do you guys know if uh, if there's been Chad Brown on track? Sighting. Sighting. Yeah, sighting. All right, I mean, let's see if we can like narrow this race down a little bit more since the you know we were kind of spreading this race and now we're out of our pick five. So what do we uh, what do we think? Three three looks like like lone speed on the plot, but just, like you said, it's not a horse we can trust. You can see the red keywords there. Lone kind of you know doesn't one that race. Well, I mean, even even the plot, even the plot itself. I've been talking about this a, a lot lately um, because there was like I forget where what what day it was this week, maybe Tuesday. But you know, somebody saying, "Oh, the plot, the plot was wrong." 
And you're like, yeah, I mean, it's not, you know, it can only, the plot can only plot the data that the horses run, right? It's not us just, you know, looking at these horses and saying, let's put the three over here and the two over there, you know, it's like, we're, it's, it, it, you know, that's the data. It's not, so anyways, when it comes to being like, quote unquote, wrong, it, this, this is a situation, the other race is the same situation where you have the plot fit, it's yellow. It's telling you caution. Right. Because if you look at you look at this plot, you're kind of like, OK, it looks like a fairly normal plot. Right. Mm -hmm. Like the three is going to get out in front. The four is going to stop. You know, like it kind of lines up on a diagonal. There's not a lot of changes from standard to surface distance. But just the fact that it's saying it's yellow. Just be be aware that things might not be what they appear. Right. Right. So that's how I look at this race. It's like, yeah, like the three does look like the horse should have a pace advantage, but it does have those keywords. And who knows what some of these other horses might do because, you know, their form is just so in and out. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I think the one thing we can say is like you, you had mentioned the five, uh, but I mean, he's obviously being overplayed. Don't you, don't you think so? Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, I, uh, I, I put I put this horse I I put this horse as today's best bet on Brisnet because I thought this horse was gonna be like six to one. And it was like a horse that I was like, you would want to include in your pick five, right? That was like my reason, not because I'm thinking the horse is the most likely winner and you should better at seven to five. I thought this is gonna be a horse that's a price that's form is like a little bit buried. And that's why I put the horse there. But yeah, I mean, seven to five is not, it's not fair odds at any horse in this race. No, no, that's for sure. Um, I mean, when, when I look at the, like, uh, so the horses I had as contenders were the four, five, eight, and 10, right? So the, and I, I think I, I think we included the three just for whatever mm -hmm. on the pick, on a pick five, but um, yeah. I, I don't see you know yeah you know you know I don't see value on any of them really maybe a little bit the four but I you know I don't trust you know what about well what about the what about the two I made the case for the two the two is currently seventeen um, what I don't like about you I don't like the layoff off the wind you know I, you, um. Uh, there's, I mean, like I said, there's plenty, there's plenty to not like. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, He's, you know, you know, just beat maidens. Um, yeah. I mean, again, there's, there's plenty to not yeah, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, a little bit of guess, flow, guess, but yeah. also, but also did have, did have some trouble. Um, and maybe it was the scenario where they did want to freshen this horse for Delmar. Cause she did run like, you know, April, May, June, don't want to run it, you know, don't want to run for a tag at Los Alamitos because, you know, the purses are so little and they're probably going to grab her. You know, I don't know. I don't know what the case is, but, you know, a lightly raced horse that's improving, that has a win at the distance. Um, okay. I don't know. Look, I'm yeah, I mean, but, but there's, there's plenty, there's plenty to not like, I'm, without and, a doubt. Just, that race looked like, you know, just based on the, the race shape looks like it kind of fell apart. Yeah, but also look at the extended comment though, because it's not it's not like this horse this horse is kind of in that position sort of by default. Okay. Because she was carried wide on the first turn. So maybe it helped her. Maybe yeah. that trouble ended up helping in the end, but it could also could also show a little bit more tactical speed as well. The only thing, and there's a Gulfstream horse, so, you know, according to Salt, but just looks like an, kind of an improving horse, um, which is good in this race. You know, like less, I'll, less, I'll less right, races, right less races, the better, you know, when you look at a horse like this. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the 10, if you just like take the 10s dirt races, they look pretty good, competitive. Well, you know, at least he's got a couple of competitive ones, 83 and seven, but going a route. Um, but you know, five to one, no bargain. Um, really struggling this race. It looks like the forge has gone down to seven to one, so he's getting some action. 
in this race. And uh, boy, tough race. And I think that's why we spread. Uh, five is, looks legitimate, but uh, the eight is the other horse taking money. And I, uh, I was negative on this horse. Um, you know, got the benefit on that 20,000, you know, running for, for 20,000 made and won that race. But let's see the extended comment. But tactic plus red is usually like, yeah, benefit is, you know, place made early move and grind it out this way. So, uh, no, we should want to take a short price on. But what happened was it looks like maybe the five uh, is floating a little bit. So maybe if you key to five and, you know, slots one and two, you know, maybe. You know, if you want Emily's horse, two, three, and four, and those other uh, legs around the five with the try. And maybe, I don't know. I don't know. It's not a race I'm all keen on, but just some ideas there. Um, let's go to the, uh, I wanted to show you that race in Saratoga. So we'll wait till Emily comes back to race 10 today. It's just disastrous. It's tough, toughest race on the card. Let's look at the plot. I think it's a, I'm just going to pull up my screen here so I see what's going on at Belmont. Yeah, you can see it's really uh, kind of convoluted in terms of pace. It's a turf sprint. Um, you know, 12 you know, plots okay. But, you know, this horse come off a 431 day layoff. I mean, I, I just don't like the spot for this horse because he ran really. I'm going to show you the grid in a second here. But this horse ran really pretty well on his debut and now they're dropping him. Um, just, you know, coming off that layoff, really suspect. So even though his plot I, looks good. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. I, I keep talking about the 12 and then I'll, I'll, talk, I'll jump in about this race. Okay. And uh, so let me just show you the form here. Let me pull up the grid on the 12. Okay. So this is a horse that uh, ran really well. His debut wins the race at Keeneland. You ship him to Europe to run in grade three. And he, he's, I mean, grade three. So, you know, he runs six, probably was like a hundred horses in the race. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but you get the point. Uh, they come back and now they had to drop them in two winners in lifetime, you know, off at 431 day long. Good luck. Uh, he's seven well, one. my, uh, what are the odds currently? Seven to one. Okay. So my, my thought in this race, can we go back to the, the plot and pass yeah. through run lines was that um because i was talking about this race earlier was that the strategy here would be to play against the six who's currently a soft three to one favorite but is an extreme favorite they have the pick four will pays up on the screen right now is yeah. like oh, yeah. you know yeah. so much shorter so that my when i was like talking to somebody about this race i, I would approach this race from trying to beat the six right yes so my opinion, like as far as the twelve goes, I don't hate the twelve because of the plot and because of the price compensation, right? Okay. I'm not a horse I'm trying to like bet, but I would probably is one I would include just for those reasons that my main opinion is I'm gonna try to if you look at the form game. of the other horses, this horse should be like two to one. Which horse? Twelve. The, yeah, right. So I mean, you want to you, you can you can <laughs> right you can include because you have the layoff and it's and it's it's an ugly layoff in the drop. But really, the opinion is as far as the six. I mean, the six has a similar layoff. What what edge does the six have? No, no, I agree with that. I agree with that. Right. right. So so that's where so that's kind of where where I'm going from. It's like I can I use the twelve in this case. Okay. Even though that's for fair. all the reasons that I hate. Okay, that's fair. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So the the other horse that I, you know, like, so I'm with Emily. I, I, I thought the horse that had the most, you know, again, it's a race where it may set up for a closer. So the seven was a horse that I thought, you know, consider, but, he, you know, he's going to be short. But based on the odds of the six, I know they're equal right now, but Emily's point, the six is going to go way below. So the seven may actually be a, Decent anchor horse for your first and second, you know, being an exotics horse that you might want that could get first and second. Had a better looked effort to get, get in the drop. Uh, it looks like a legitimate drop. So it's a horse that, uh, you know, I would consider. It's off a little bit of a layoff, too. clement has been cold, but he won one today, so maybe he's heating back up. Rosario, good turf rider, especially these sprint races. So, he, you know, he's got some ability and closing ability. 
Um, the other horse, I, I, this is really a stretch because he looks ugly, you know, but I, I'm going to get your opinion on this horse. I mean, this is the 10th. Um, okay. This horse showed no finish, but was dueling. And I don't think he likes to be inside horses. And so he was on the inside this day. He was dueling. He faded at Presque Isle. Okay. It was kind of like, you know, a little bit like you, you look at the optics fig range. It's kind of at this level. So he ran an 80. No, I, yeah. I, I looked at this horse. I like this horse as well. This horse okay. is usable. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so, you know, and, and then like. Because you have, because if you go back further, this is the particular race that's like, yes. it's a shorter turf sprint. And yeah. it has those shorter turf sprints. And he's just yeah. recently claimed, he just recently claimed back. Sharp had the horse. Yeah. He had an excuse at Oakland in the first yeah. start. They dropped him for a tag. All right. uh, I don't know really know what happened there. It just says C plus. But then he was running where, you know, at press where, you know, who knows? But they lost, you know. Yeah. They didn't so, have the horse. And then yeah, I mean, I, I can get to this horse because of that turf sprint form. And that you know the class. He's a little, he's a little cheap, but so is I mean, so is this race. I mean, it fits the yeah. race. You know what I mean, and yeah. he had he has back class, right? Because those races that he ran, he did, like you know, this was a good race at Keeneland, right? Five and a half. I mean, he was in a good race. Yeah. I mean, he, he ran okay, I guess. You know, uh, ran fast enough. You know, and that was two year old, right? So he's got some upside. Some, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm glad he's where he is post position wise. Maybe he can stalk the pace. And make a run and get lucky. At least maybe hit the board. At, at uh, right now he's fifteen to one. So that was my long shot. Good. Okay. So we agree with that. Yeah. So, I mean, and the other the other two that you know seem usable that are just kind of that are just kind of wild. You talked about the two, right? I, I didn't mention. I didn't get to them yet. No. Okay. Yeah. So the two is basically it's a similar angle. I mean, the two's current form is just yeah, it's so bad, though. Yeah, I don't like, I, I prefer the 10 to the two. Yeah, I just don't like the spacing or anything on this. Yeah, space. the spacing and just like the speed figure. And, 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 like, and, and, and the trainer change, right? Well. From Ward to Falco, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I just, yeah, I just, it, that, that doesn't bother me as much as like that current form is just so slow without any excuse, you yeah. know, it's like, even if, he was, even if he was in the, well, he didn't, it's not even that he didn't progress. He went backwards. Yeah. He was running yeah, like, he was yeah. running like 90s and 86. That's my yeah. problem is like, he's yeah. like not, he's not even the same horse. Like yeah. what, what happened to this horse? He's just done. Um, and I mean, the other, the other horse is the four, um, who, I mean, you just, you know, it's tough to get to a horse that's like been like a closer going long. Now he's going to be a closer stretching out. But I mean, in terms of speed figures, at least he's fast. Yeah. So, so I, I, what I would do, because I, I think the seven is legitimate horse in the race, I probably do, you know, seven all 10. And uh, bet the ten to win a little bit, kind of like what we did with that horse last week. And uh, you know, probably an exact with seven and ten. That'd be my play because I, I just don't, um, just don't like any. I, mean, I just kind of like didn't like anybody else in this race. Uh, it's not that I love those horses, but I just don't like anybody else. So, all right, uh, three five minutes out. Oh, Emily, I don't know if you met the five's kind of float a little bit, makes him a little mm -hmm. bit more likable, don't you think? And so, you know, with some of those other horses, maybe play them around the five to finish first or second, maybe the tries, and maybe try to beat the eight would be the an approach. At Delmar? Yeah. No, I'm yeah. looking at it. Let's see, this is Cleaning up my tabs here. Okay. Yeah. So I was thinking like, you know, five with, um, that's what horse they talked about. Uh, four, three, no, four. I think the three and the 10. So the four, five with four, 10 with maybe, Three, four, ten. There's another horse we liked. Oh, two, two, three, four, ten. So five with uh, yeah, 
four, 10 would be my approach. And then two, three, four, 10. And then same thing with five and second. Yeah, I'm trying to be creative. Oh, there was, there was another thing about the two. There was this, there was the seven horse that was in this race that scratch. Yeah. yeah. And the seven, the seven, one. So the two won in, on, in June, that seven horse had won in July, came out of the same race. So it kind of validated that form of that race a little bit. That was part of the angle with the two. So I think the seven, the seven was like eight to one also. It's gonna like take some money. And the seven like had improved or something. Vinny O'Toole, welcome to the chat. Uh, how are you doing today at Saratoga? Cause I know you played this. And this is uh, John, part of the reason for the new signups at the optics. Oh, Mr. O'Toole? Mr. O'Toole. All right. Okay. Let's see. There's something like I was thinking about here. Five is way. back to favor. That's okay. Um, yeah. This is what I was kind of thinking about something like this. You know, I guess it's like if people are questioning, like as far as like, you know, you're putting this together, like the exotics yeah. using the favorite, but you're not going, I'm going to play a trifecta five, eight with five, eight, 10 with five, eight, 10. Three, four. You know, it's not like you're using like all the favorites to run one, you know, yeah. run one, two, three. You're trying to like hook it up with like, you know, the two to run second, the, you know, try to get, try to get a price in those spots. So it's like you, you can build around a favorite that you think is, uh, that is, is usable, but you just don't want to be like anchoring it like chalk, chalk, chalk. Cause then. Right. You just you're not going to hit enough to win those right. bets. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 frankly, it's a race I probably would pass. But I mean, yeah. just for, just for uh, it looks it looks like a pass to me, to be honest. I mean, I could see if you're going to play it, that's the way. Yeah, and that's the approach, for sure. And then what I was thinking is. Um, Going before and five and both pick fives at Toga. Ooh, which was the what was the leg? Was it that seventh? No, sorry. Was it the eighth race? That knocked it. So I was thinking at Saratoga, Emily. Oh, it's Saratoga? Uh, yeah, try like 7 10 all exact to 7 10 and then, you know, 10 to win. Mm. Like a win play show on a 10, essentially, with the 7, is my opinion, mm. to win the race. If this... Yeah, I mean, this, uh, the 7. I mean, the 7, you could probably like wheel that horse just for the fact that it's like a closer, you know? <laughs> Yeah. To go to run second and third. So if you did play it like 10. I don't, I mean, I don't, I mean, my, I have more confidence the seven will win versus the 10. So I see. Um, because I just think seven's a classier horse. I think it's a 10. The yeah. 10, just, no, I mean, I, I, I agree with you as far as like individual to individual. Yeah. It's just the uh, the seven having to close at five and a half. Yeah, the just, horse has been the horse has been running it longer. Yeah, but without I, without question, I yeah. I know what you're I know what you're saying. Just that's why I was saying like to run in those other spots, just for the fact that 
if there's just like a little too much to do late. Yeah, there might there might be. I'm just thinking. And then, the, you know, if, it, look, the if I'm right about the 10, like I, I would, the way I bet this is like, you know, depends on 10. I don't, I like less to win. So I probably bet more on the, the try than anything. Um, okay. And, and uh, yeah, so, you know, but if the 10 wins the race, I'm going to still show a good profit for the race. Um, but I'm not strong on that opinion. I'm stronger on the seven winning, winning, the, winning the race actually. Um, because if he, if the six, six doesn't win, I think seven wins. I mean, I don't, and I don't like the six that we talked about. Um, I think the seven is the most likely winner. And so it's another race. I don't want to spend a lot of money. Like, you know, a lot of mm -hmm. iterations on it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm right or I'm wrong. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Because confidence is yeah, confidence not is strong, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean the six, the six to that point, the six is like a horse that you're gonna. God, that who is that horse right there? The one is just like a mouthful of blood going in the gate at Del Mar. Jesus. Um, like the six is a horse you'd play, you'd want to play against in those multi-race sequences for the reason that just look at the payouts. Like the six is just sure. Like, yeah. You know, that's the reason. But can the six run second or third? Sure. sure. Like, why not? You know? So that's, they were in the gate. Well, the eight's the favorite, Emily. Yeah. That's good. So now you're, in, you're not even betting, the, you're leaving the favorite out of the trifecta. If you bet it like this. So important, the odds, right? I mean, it's so important to the, uh, Eight plays resistance, nine stumble, eight got a good, three got a flyer. Uh, the five is safe ground, he's gonna lose ground in the first turn. Why is he, why is he got this five? What, what, did you understand? Is this how it's ouchy? And I'm like, why is this horse so wide on the turn to five in the back? <laughs> I have no clue. Did he seem to go wide there for no reason? Yeah. Now? They're flying. Oh, my they God. are. Spaced keyword. What? Oh, they want to know what that means. I'm just saying it out loud. Oh, <laughs> five's got some run though. Eight's done. Dunsky. Yeah. Thanks. Is a three, a three just might, I mean, they space out the field like this, just so hard. I mean, this horse just has to come to a stop, which it very well may as that large circle, but these ones aren't really, eight's not done yet. Eight heard you. It's like, I got a little bit more, but three looks good. It's pretty slice. It's Gasper Fair, but. So much space on this field. That's how you ride a ride a front runner, though. Just go for broke. Before ten five. Well, you know, had all those horses in the sequence there, so yeah. Just didn't have a strong enough opinion to put one of those three or the four on top. Also, those are two horses from Gulfstream that are pretty good in the last two races. The nine and then the four here. They outran their odds. Let's bring up the Saratoga block. Messy block. Well, that was a good horse to have. We had him in our pick five sequence, the three. Yeah, I mean, that was, it was like you had to include just because of the fact for that reason, right? That yeah. there was yeah. a scenario where the horse can go gate to wire. Yeah. Clot was right. 
plot was superior. Right. So when people say it's wrong, it was right. <laughs> the plot was right. I'll have to look at the head on and see what happened with the five. Like, why did that horse? Why did that horse do what it did early? The avoiding kick. I don't know what. I mean, it could. Uh, you know. Mm, yeah, Drayden. Who knows what he does? I you know, had a lot more hope for him. It just seems like he's, uh, if not regressed, does not improve the way I thought he could. Um, it could. Yeah. You know, especially, yeah. You know, especially when all everyone left. You know, I thought he would be elevate. You know, um, especially on the turf because I thought he has the. Line. I don't know. You know. He seems to have gone sideways a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it, there's, and there, there's no, there's no excuse because it's like when he first came up as a, when he first came up. Uh, what race are we talking about right now? We're talking about race four, the trips on race four, and then we're race also three. talking about race, race three. Right there. Sorry, no, race. race Sorry, race race three. Sorry, race three at Del Mar, and then uh, we've also been talking about Saratoga race ten. But yeah, I mean, Drayden when he first started out as an apprentice, he got all those um, Tom Proctor horses that mm. were all super, you know, yeah. hell alive. So yeah. he had like all, you know, just super live horses. Um, you know, all, just every every bit of support, right? Like first out, and then you know, I, I mean, even since then, it's like he was riding. I think it was the following summer or maybe two summers later, he was riding all those first time starters for Baffert that year that Baffert was winning at like 80% with first time starter over 80% at Del Mar with first time starters. And like Drayden was on most of those horses that year. And then he got bumped once those horses went to stakes company or whatever, but that was the year of, uh, I forget, but anyways, he was like on all the, he's like, he's always been riding like for good barns and then he'll come with a good ride like every now and again, but he's just so inconsistent. Right. So inconsistent. All right. Getting ready for race 10 at Belmont. At uh, Belmont, my goodness. Belmont. I'm doing the, I'm doing the ghost sapper thing again. Well, it's almost, it's almost time, but it won't really be. It'll be Aqueduct. I know. It's going to be. It's going to be uh, Belmont at Aqueduct, right? Remember, like, like they used to do that. Uh, what's that meet? They used to have it all those different places in California. The, oh, uh, Oak Tree, Oak Tree. Oak Tree, Oak Tree at San Anita. Yeah. So San Anita is going to be the Breeders' Cup next year. Okay. I mean, it should always be. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sorry to say, but it's it's just one of those things that's like it's logistics. Yeah, exactly. Like like weather weather wise, you got good weather, you have a track that accommodates, you know, all those all those horses, yeah. all those people. You're in a major city where people can fly in and places to stay. Because that's the downside to Del Mar. It's like yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a you know, it's like there's only so many places that are close by, and then you've got to get a car, and then you've got to drive, and like the airport's not around the corner, and like. Like the year that I went with my mom, I mean, it was, it was fine, but like our, you know, our hotel was like 40 minutes away and we yeah. still paid out, you know, we still yeah. paid a ridiculous price for it. Um, it, but you know, I mean, in LA, it's like, there's, there's so many more options and like in Pasadena, at least there's some public transportation there. Um, I don't know. It's just, there's. Yeah, I, I agree. It, it just makes so much sense for that, for that He's type been of there route, probably more know? than any any other venue too though it has been it's what it's it's been there more i think than any other yeah venue. yeah yeah i mean i get i get that it's good to like you know spread the love and all that but i mean at some time oh. you're running an event in november and you're bringing two. people in from all over the world sometimes you got to think about you know the other logistics two broke through the gate at uh, saratoga oh yeah looks all the muscle that one That was a horse that's like going the wrong way, going backwards. Yeah. Too. He tried to get a head start. He's so slow. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a handy. You're talking about handicap, talking about weights. Imagine giving horses a lead. <laughs> Open the no, gate. That's, that's what I was saying. That was part of the conversation. I was like, that horse, 
that you're talking about. It's like five pounds. Or like that horse is like 10, 15 points slower in the field. The only way you give that horse a handicap is by giving him a head start. Right. That's the only, oh, uh, it's like kind of, I, I don't know if that's like kickback or rider or whatever. I have no idea. It's like, I'm just, I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to put anything because it's just such a spaced race. It's so weird. I don't even think it's worth doing anything else. What are you talking about? That five, I guess wide. I'm gonna have to go wide because that horse is like ridiculously wide. But yeah, I, I can't. I can't see any reason, like physically or tactically. <laughs> it's insane. Like what? Like looking at the head on. Yeah. That horse is like from the other widest horse is still like one to two paths further out, with like a horse running alone on the lead. Like that is okay. I guess that at, we're at the point that is tactic minus because that's just bonehead. I mean, that horse is never winning, but it was definitely never winning with that. Okay, sorry, Saratoga. It is, it is seven. Yeah, seven. Yeah. You got too much to do, though. Like you There's said. the 12. 12. That was a way too much. Comes the six. Zoom. Well, it was the right idea to play against the six. I think the five just helped. Five didn't get. Five didn't get. That 10 is too cheap. That was a tough race. Yeah, I mean that was that was a race that honestly, I mean the five certainly makes sense. You know, you have light contention, and especially if your if your main speed horse is the twelve that's coming off that long layoff. But the the idea was right. Like when I was talking to somebody earlier on chat, the idea with that race is try to build around the six for those multis. Oh, try to beat the six. Yeah. Try to beat the six. That's that. That's don't try to pick a winner. <laughs> Just try to pick, yeah. pick a bunch of horses that could beat the six. And maybe it worked out. I don't know. It looks a lot closer the second time around that I'm watching it. But. Oh, the five good winner race? Yeah, he won, no? He it was closer than that? It's not, it's not official on mine. Oh, me neither. At first, when I was watching live, I was like the five held, but then they, you know. Oh, I thought he did hold. Huh? They made me. They made me second guess my oh. skills. Not five. I don't think it's gotta win that race. What, 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 you know, like he's showing them watching angles that like are meaningless to me, you know, like in, in terms of I'm trying to figure out who won the race. The ang they're showing the six now in the, in the warm up in the uh, yeah, I mean, the fact that wow, it's wow. wow. brutal, and some days just be like that, yeah. He would that seven got, got up for fourth after being so far back, yeah. You were right. That it was not the right, wasn't the right uh, pace. Distance. Have, have, it wasn't the right yeah. distance. Go to go to New York. Six and a, six furlongs. Those seven furlong races would probably be better. Yeah. Go. All right. Well, we got this. Uh, should we do like a try to do doubles here? Sure. Four, fourth to fifth, since I think everything else is dead. I like more. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, you like it? Yeah, you like the one. Well, I was just gonna say it's a good one because we're you know not crazy about the seven who's currently. Yeah. Here. So I think we mentioned the one in the. We had mentioned the one four and what was the other horse that we talked about in this race? Five. Is because we thought it might be like. Yeah, the point. No, let me bring it up. Let me. Yeah, it was like when we were talking pick five for like protection, we were thinking, you know, hey, this horse could do a one, you know, speed of the speed kind of thing. Uh, 
Uh, hey guys, plot on the upcoming. Okay. Uh, hey guys, on the plot question on the upcoming fourth at Del Mar, how do you treat the five whose surface distance plot has them squared high in quadrant one? And then yeah, the same question. Yeah. Well, the the first thing I'd say about the plot here is just it's a red plot fit, so it's just chaos. And as far as the five, that's what we included him. We are doing the pick five analysis early. We included him just because of the plot. Right? Yes. Just couldn't just couldn't leave the horse out. Yeah. And you I'm... can make a subtle, you know, you can make a subtle case, but I mean just in terms of the plot as a whole, it's so hard to take take really a lot out of it the way that it looks and with that red plot fit. I, so for me, when I look at this plot, I, especially the surface distance, the one pops for me. He's so, so big, but he looks like he's a closer, but there's, like you said, they're all kind of bunched together. So, you know, it's not, and when you look at his form, he's really not a closer. He's, he's able to run close up. And so if he can, you know, maintain proximity to the five, uh, and I think he could outfinish these horses and, you know, he's been able to stay close, been able to win from the front. So, uh, even well, though I mean, he even, even his... last out, it's kind of a sneaky note because he's, he's dual extra wide, which means he's, even though he's in the, like, you know, the running line is like fifth or something like that at the first call, sixth, the first call, it's like he, they're bunched or something. Oh, the, the five you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a good stuff. So, so the one I was saying, like, this horse could, like, even though he kind of plots, he's had some races, like recent races, where he's kind of come off the pace, you know, since his layoff. But you can see that, you know, he's able to win a race on the lead. We originally thought this horse would be better on turf. Um, ran a big 86 as a two-year-old. That number is really good. And so you can tell that the 90 now is a, is a really honest reflection of this horse. Given 40 days, transitioning, a lot of people don't like Ellis Park, right? I think it's a low limit is, but it's still, a, this time of year, they run pretty good races there. And so if you think that number's legit, it's the best number by far in our numbers. You know, if you look at, you can do like date filters. Let's just clear this. You could just do like filters. I use the date. So I want to just like look in the last 90 days. And the only horse figure-wise, that competes is the four. And the, that was the other one we talked to, the other Peter Miller. So, and I just didn't like his last race, but it could have been, he didn't get a good start. And we talked about the track, you know, he was wide on a track that was maybe favorable inside. A couple of things. So, you know, may, maybe he's able to get back to that number. But when you look at those two numbers, they kind of stand out, uh, Emily. So, you know, that's, I was kind of on those two. I preferred the one, but I'm you know, thinking about using those two at the double. And I don't know if I would go with the five and the double, um, you know, but his price, I don't know, maybe, you know, it depends on. Currently, yeah, it's currently nine to one. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess, you know, maybe even if I pick three. So maybe, you know, um, well, I think that's, we have anything more to say about this race or should we just go to the fifth so we'll assess that one? Let's go to the fifth. Okay. So this race, um, I'm trying to think of how we originally kind of looked at this race. We thought this was a tough race, right? Bombs away with the two. Right. The two is the uh, wire to wire kind of horse. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what else did I let me see? And then <laughs> the nine the nine being logical, the one maybe having a little bit of upside. I mean the five the five and the six on the plot, they just have questions, the five and the six, because they look good on the plot. Right. But a lot of their form is being taken from, like in the case of the six, from those uh, synthetic races at Golden Gate, didn't run nearly as strong on the dirt last out. And then the five is also one that's like questionable to hold that form uh, at this distance and on the dirt. That's just the questions with the five. Yeah, I don't think the, the three, I think the three you liked as well. Yes, I did. Uh, the the uh, firsters, um, I mean, Seven a little bit better than the four, but nothing like outstanding in terms of that. Let me look why I like the three a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I just think you know this horse made a move in versus you know like if you look at his uh, the numbers of this horse like the seventy six right when you look at the look at the optics figure range seventy four eighty two right 
and you look at the sources first, right? That was on turf. I don't know if the source is turf or not, right? Ran six, but he ran a 76. Um, let's say this horse gets a little bit better than that. This horse is capable, you know, maybe he's not the, the horse, but capable of running like 80, mid 80s, which is above the level here. Uh, comes back in the dirt, makes a move. That's not a bad race, right? Over 233 miles. But he didn't move forward because they kind of routed him. So he's, now he's getting back to sprinting. And so that's what I was thinking. I'm like, if he can kind of like get back and maybe even improve on that, that the original figure, or you would just, you know, get there and mean, put him in the match. But it could even improve on that. He's got a possibility. Let's just assume that the distance wasn't right for him. You see, he was ranked in that race. He gets it dropped. Oh, I, I thought this was had a little bit of a look in, this, in, that, in that fifth race. Yeah. Let's look at the, um, let's look at that five and six, just kind of from like a closer. Yeah. So, so I, I think you said this, so I don't know, but what it looks like to me is that this horse is like uh, going to be sprinting now and um, he's not going to have the same kind of speed. So I think he, and he hasn't proven that he's like a really closing sprinter. He's lost. The other thing I hate on horses, you know, this. I hate when horses lose below their level, you know, that they're at today and he's made. That's, that's Frost playing in the background when you guys huh. hear this. <laughs> did, I re, did I repeat everything you said? <laughs> no, 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 you're, no, keep going. You're good. He's just, okay. He's so so that, that's why I don't like that horse as much, you know. Um, and then the six, you know, he's getting the drop. Um, but, you know, I, I don't like when the horse, like he's kind of running okay. And, and this is your point. It was synthetic. That was gold, Golden Gate. He's getting a yeah. drop. I don't know how much this is going to really help him anyway. So yeah, that, that was just kind of my that was just my kind of question because obviously those synthetic races make this horse a major player. Sure. But that figure that figure last out. I mean, the horse is coming off a forty one day break, so you'd figure the horse is fresh enough to run at least close to what he was running at Golden Gate, but didn't. That number just dropped so much. So yeah, the class drop, you know, it makes sense, you know, all around. But you could even make a case that those Golden Gate maiden special weight races are these maiden fifties. So it's more of a lateral move. Oh, and he, oh, the other thing, the reason why I like the three, I'm, I'm sorry to jump back to him, is that um, he's got kind of an improved workout report. So you know, he's kind of on the improve. So. So I like – so, if we, you know, if we go to the squares, uh, five and six. Let's look at the nine because that's uh, the other square. Oh, yeah, the nine, the nine is one that seems very logical. Maybe the most likely winner is okay. the nine. And he's getting a drop that you projected. Uh, the 11 days, yeah. Uh, it's two dirt yeah, numbers, power, power over the field. So three and nine and maybe – so what about your two? I just want to take a look at your two here. Um, yeah. Okay. So you know, I don't know. I I uh, maybe I clue him a little bit less. So what I'm thinking about here is not that I don't think about that. What about this? Well, I'm thinking one with the uh, maybe a little bit more emphasis on the um, one with the two, three, nine. A little more emphasis on the obviously on the three and the nine. Uh, and then uh, you said the one, four, five. And I'm going to really try to hit this thing. Um, it's just my opinion. I'm going to play my opinion here. And then uh, I'm going to come back with one, four, five over the three because uh, that could really pay. And that'd be my. Oh, I see. I'll be right back, Emily. Okay. Hi, chat. Is everybody, uh, anybody there? Everybody alive? Everybody playing? Recovered? Uh, not doing anything much after Saratoga? Saratoga being analyzed. One was single pick five. Yeah, uh, I answered that, as you can see. One was singled, but the pick five got dead because it was just that one ticket. The strategy was to be a little bit tighter in race one and the three was just a backup in race one, which means you needed the two in race two and that didn't work out. Um, I mean, every, every horse that's won was in some combination of those tickets, but it just didn't, didn't come together. 
Um, but yeah. As far as the seven, I guess I don't have John's screen to pull it up. But, what do you got? What do you want to look at? Well, um, even though we're we're against, but if we're looking at uh, race four to talk about the seven who's currently favored, like why we're not using this horse and why everybody else seems to be. Uh, let, me, let me go there. Um, yeah, okay. So, I mean, one, the, the one thing right off the bat is um, this is a horse that kind of like needs to be forwardly placed. And I think, you know, when you look at the five and the eight and the four, they get more second call speed to the, the five, especially. So I'm a little worried about this horse uh, early on keeping up. That's, I guess, my, my thing. Let me look at this. Yeah, because it's a horse that's, you know, he's been – He's been showing route speed. Yeah, that's my problem. Is you know he, that's the way you know I you can't. First of all, I hate I really hate the these going from a route to five furlong sprints. That's a huge difference, right? The, the yeah. race is completely different. So the fact that you know he's not a closing sprinter, right? He's a he's really more of a forwardly place. His one race that you know his race is even sprinting. He was close up. The one time he was behind, right? He did no no running at all right so that's my concern it's the, it's, it's the what i call it's like the run style to the plot you know matchup doesn't match it doesn't quite match up uh for me um that, that's the reason it just it, and i just don't like the sprint the route to sprint going fly for all yeah i mean they are they are backing this horse because it's kind of a just such a weird race, right? Where like every horse in here has an ox and this one's coming out of those higher races. So yeah. I and, mean, and it just seems like that's why, you know, why they're betting it. And, and I mean, speed wise, figure, speed figure wise doesn't have an edge. Yeah. I mean, even class wise doesn't really have an edge. Certainly it's not surface distance. And, and uh, I think, I think, you know, the rider has been doing well, right? Has he been doing really well? And I think, especially in some of these, he's like, he's kind of, He's out, a lot of yeah, yeah, he's riding, he's riding well, but I mean, he's riding like you know, he's getting like 40 to one shots, out, you know. He's not, you're saying, or he is? No, he was getting like early in, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, saying, you know, some live long shots, like, yeah, up, yeah, he, but, you know, he was out running, he had a horse out running their odds, and so maybe I don't know, maybe it's part of that, yeah, yeah, that could be that could be it because I did see, I did see a lot of people that were like just doing that, like, blank blanket statement like Barrios on the turf you know yeah like not considering the fact that like you know the trips or that horse had a look regardless of who was on you know I mean he's obviously riding well I'm not like discounting it but I just think right, right. Just go, they go for like the most simple you know the outcome is the only reason that you know we can talk about it from if I'm looking at if I'm looking at race four you got to beat the one Beat the one horse goes gate to white. Wait, you gotta beat. I don't know who you're trying to beat. Are you trying to beat the one? Or are you saying that the one horse goes gate to wire? If I'm looking at race four, you gotta beat. If we're talking about the seven, and then the one horse goes gate to wire. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, if, if the if, if the one gets out, I mean, it could. I mean, yeah, but if he if he does get out, it's over. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. He could. I mean, he's not slow. I know he plots there. He, like I said, we've seen races before. Um, yeah, it's good. It's a good race. I, you know, I think I think I think I like I like our play in this race. And 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 I'll be honest with you, I, I wouldn't think second of playing a one four five exact box here. Yeah. I mean, because or or a key box with a one over the four five because I just think that. The values there, you know, you, you're beating the seven, you're beating the six. Um, it just, I don't know, for some reason, I think the exact, I don't know if it's a takeout or whatever. It's just in California, they just underpay to me. I don't know what it is. I like the double play that we have. All right, going in the gate. 
The only thing we got for Ron Sharul on our website. <laughs> the one. Jesus. I know. Uh, low Joe. Absolute liability. Or for Low Joe. And another, another writer that's been given every opportunity. He's had so many live mounts and just. Open it. Six. 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 Oh, just behind the gate. slow and the four again both those horses are off slow yeah the four might be so game, game set match might be slow. five right five there. is in a good spot seven's dead last four is enough i mean got him in a fights there yeah it's like tight between between horses Five looks like a no keep. It'd be tough to beat this three. Yeah, this three won like this last out. Got the same, got the same trip. Here comes the four. He's... No, here comes nobody. No, yeah, I thought he could come. Nope, suckeroo. Yeah. Well, we were right about one thing. Seven was a sled. Seven was in the worst favorite. Yeah. Oh, stretch. It, 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 a, horse you know, it, find, a horse will be fine at this level again, just like with more ground. Five, five was a real disappointment, wasn't he? I, I absolutely. Know. That horse had a perfect, absolutely perfect trip. Yeah. Just no keep. Ugly. Yeah, I mean the the four the four and the one breaking slow again just changed. Yeah, you know, gotta trust the notes. I mean these horses that are are bad gate horses, they you know they're bad. They are they are who they are. You know that's what they do. Yeah, because when you when you break. Bad from the rail, especially in these turf sprints, you got to use to like not lose. But that's what happened. He had to use to not lose position. Um, yeah. I'm just, I mean, still, I mean, Peter Miller horses just haven't really been doing much for the way that they look on paper, you know? Right, right, right. But yeah, I mean, could Drew have been a little bit more aggressive there? Yeah, absolutely. But no, I don't think so. I, because I think he had to use. I mean, he was he was that horse was under a ride for a while actually. If you watch it again, if you watch it at backstairs. He had to use him to get him up. So I don't. I don't know. You know, you can't do anything about the horse break slow. Yeah. Oh, you mean like just rush, go all out to get up to the front? Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe I guess so. If anyone to finish third, you know, like, he's one of those guys. I don't know if it's a French thing. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like they're okay sometimes. There's two things I think it is. One, they're okay not to win if they don't think they're going to win. You know, like, I'm, I'll take second or third kind of money. And the second thing is, is, and this is a good thing, actually. I think they don't punish horses. You know, I think they have uh, some of that consideration when they're doing what they're doing. Where some of the guys, I mean, they're, you know, they're out there. I gotta win, or I gotta, I gotta do my best, and whatever. You know, that's that's the that's the the most that's the biggest objective. But I think, I don't know. That's just this, watching them ride over the years, especially Leperu. Uh And and I think the third one is don't get hurt. <laughs> don't, don't 
Don't, <laughs> position, don't get hurt because if you're yeah. hurt, you, if you're hurt, if you're hurt, you're not earning any money. You know. So I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's not fair, but that's an assessment from the outside looking at. Yeah, I mean it's. It, 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 this is weird to say, and I mean, I'll never, I'll never fault anybody for like not wanting to get hurt, especially because, and I think, I think this is sick, and I think this is something that like absolutely has to change. But unless somebody can point me to another sport, horse racing is the only sport that doesn't have health care for these athletes, right? Because like every time a jockey gets hurt, it's like you just see this like GoFundMe go up, and like that's just such a colossal failure and it's so embarrassing in my opinion for this sport to sit there and say here are these guys that you know ride these horses and like as soon as they get hurt it's like they have to like panhandle for their medical expenses and to like right, you know right. i mean like they didn't like have health care like what the uh you know uh so yeah i can't i can't fault anybody for not wanting to get hurt because you have no you know you're like you're on yeah. your own like you're totally on your own at that point and you know whatever um forgot where I was going with that but oh but secondly from a background where I you know skateboarded on like an amateur maybe semi-professional level and then played roller derby and the reason that I stopped skateboarding is because I hit my head really I hit my head really hard I like, had a con concussion I like knocked myself out and then I'm like my concussion symptoms were like uh for like two weeks, I couldn't stand up, like without like wanting to throw up. Like I was just like, just, like beyond getting your bell rung. And then my recovery, like after that, like once I could finally like stand up and like do like normal activities, I had like a headache for like three months that like never went away. And I'm not somebody that like has headaches. But from like that point on, I was like, I couldn't push myself beyond a boundary, right? It was like there was like that wall that I just like I, I wouldn't really want to try tricks and like you know so it was like I was done I like can't yeah. you know before it's like you just you know you don't even you don't even think it's like you're just like I have to like do this trick or I'm just doing you know like your brain is like such in a different place and then once you start thinking about the consequences of getting hurt it's like everything else like you're not learning tricks you're not you know you're not you're not skating the way that you should be skating like you're done right. like right. you know. So like these riders, it's like, if you're scared to ride, then like, it's, you know, yeah, your horses aren't going to win. Like, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah. you're not putting, you know, you're not putting yourself in a position where you're going to, you know, you're going to win, but. Like, like I, for instance, Mike Smith, I think was brilliant the way he managed his career. And I think he changed the way he managed his career after that bad injury at that time. I don't know, Emily, this was way back in Saratoga. He had a horrific in injury. I mean, lost like yeah. a year, year or whatever it was. And when he came back, he kind of just changed. He moved to California. He, you know, he kind of did, you know, kind of picked his spot. He, he just changed. Like, and it worked for him, right? He kind of like redefined his career. You know, I'm not going to be an everyday ride. I'm not going to win the title every day. You know, he, he kind of says, you know, and I, I, I think, you know, he, he worked around it so, so that, you know, he became – probably even more famous, you know, because he picked up some incredible mounts, especially those fillies and mares that he rode. I mean, just, I mean, if you ever go down the list, it's like a Hall of Fame filly and mare list that he wrote. It's just incredible. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, and the, the other thing is with athletes, if they, sometimes when you try to play not to get injured, you're more likely to get injured if, if you're playing loose, you know, whatever, you know, just going all out. Yeah, like you, yeah. you, you watch Michael Jordan, you're like, how did this guy never get injured in his career? I mean, he just was, I mean, he got injuries, but I mean, nothing serious. Just the guy was all out all the time, in my opinion. I, I've never seen an athlete like him. You know, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a, you know, yeah. a special but Even the guys today, I mean, nothing compares that to him that I've seen. I, I, the guy never, he's saying they were like, there, there's certain guys that never took a night off. And he was one of those guys, just never seemed to take a night off. He was just on all the time. He was just so the most. He was the most competitive athlete I've ever seen in my life. Just no, there's no one, no one like him. Speaking uh, of acting, wait, wait, wait. Let me read this comment. It is Emily. Agree, but it's not by choice, but by design. They don't have health care, but they're required by federal laws to buy health care. No, see, I again, I just, I, I think that's, I think that's like, it's a, that's the failure. It's not, it's not, it's not by choice. Like it. 
the NBA provides health care to the athletes. They don't say, well, there's a federal mandate. You should have it on your own. You know, like that's part of like that's part of your job. And especially in a sport like ours, where I, I think in addition, we're probably the only sport where like the athletes are literally chased by an ambulance. Like if there's not a sport that should provide health care, it's the one that like chases you by ambulance because they know that like your life is good to be on the line at any at any second. Yeah, I mean, they the the federal laws to buy health care is that's, you know, maybe I don't know if it's like for sport, but it was for up until recently for everybody was supposed to have health care or you had to pay a penalty. But I mean, even as we know, like, I mean, healthcare, depending on if it's your choice to buy it, you're, you know, you're at the mercy of what your, your financial situation is and what you can afford. And especially if you're, you know, I knew a lot of people in skateboarding, this was like years, years and years, but like when they would do um, get, you know, healthcare type stuff, or even when their healthcare was provided, it was done as, um, not influencer, like some other term, some other term like that. Because if you put in, you know, I'm a skateboarder, your insurance goes through the roof, right? Because they're like, oh, you're jumping downstairs on like a piece of plywood. Like, yeah, like, you know, so they would change it. So yeah, I mean, you know, for a jockey, I mean, I can't even imagine if they tried to get healthcare on their own. I'm sure it's like insane, right? Yeah, well, I mean, the jockeys, whatever, what's that? The disabled, I mean, they should be able to create a fund, you know, not a fund, but at least some kind of, uh, they should be able to buy in like some kind of mass so they could reduce the cost, you know, like a group. Yeah, yes, yes. So every, you know, they all, if you're, you know, exercise, right, whatever, they, everybody has health, has like the insurance to cover, you know, cover their injuries, cover their time off, because obviously, like you said, if you're injured, you're not working, right? So it's like that has to already be included. We don't, we shouldn't be sitting in a system where like, oh, now something bad happened, let's fix it. It's like, let's yeah, yeah, fix yeah. it. Let's have it done so that when you're injured, you can just focus on yourself and getting better and not trying to like figure out how you're going to like live with your, you know, go through all these things. So um, speaking of superstars or budding superstars, what do you think about Nest last week, Emily? Um, I'm thinking that maybe the Breeders' Cup Classic is a better race for her. Well, I think that, that they came out that they're going to train up to the distaff. Yeah, it'll make it a great race. But, I, you know, like, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, you know, I'm a sporting man. I mean, I you take your shot. Because, I mean, isn't she better at 10 furlongs? Is she going to be better? No, I don't. I, I mean, I don't I don't disagree with you. I, th I think she could run in that race for sure. But, oh, I mean, it's – if they're going to do what they're going to do, it's not really worth having yeah. a conversation, you know, but I mean, I, for, to your, to your point. Yeah. Like she could, they could easily do that. And maybe, and maybe they will, maybe it'll depend on, you know, well what, happens with, what happens with flight line, you know, yeah, and how well because, and because who else, who else is classic right now? I mean, Pletcher, Pletcher has life is good, but that horse isn't a classic yeah, horse. Yeah. Um, here's the question for, for, for this week. It's not, has to be, it has to do with racing. What, like, so like, you know, when you go through your analysis, what's the first question you ask in pace analysis? You know, what, what's yours, Emily? What's the first question? Well, I think this is, I think it's a weird question. Like well, the way that's asked, what's the first question in pace analysis? So like, so like, like when you, when you're like, when you handicap, right mm -hmm. you ask yourself questions right like who's the favorite would be your question right yeah so when you're analyzing the pace what's the first thing you ask okay. well i mean i am coming from a different place because i'm looking at the plot right yeah okay you look at okay. whatever you do like so, so if i you know some some if i'm looking if i'm looking at the plot I'm, I'm looking at it from the standpoint i'm not trying to you know i'm looking at like this race which is pulled up right now i'm looking at does any horse have an advantage disadvantage? Like number one, you know, is this race going to favor a certain style over, you know, over another, like, is exactly. it, you know, that's, that's where I'm, I'm first looking at it from that standpoint, just kind of getting that overall visual, like, okay, this looks like a pace. It's going to be contentious. Okay. This real run looks like 
you know, chaos race. I don't know where the, you know, the winner could come from any spot. Um, you know, that, that type of thing, like, you know, yeah. Like, look, like looking at this one, that's the way I look is like, what horses have an advantage disadvantage? How does the right. race shape look or oh, the race shape itself? Is it going to favor one style over another? Right. Uh, I'm just saying most people, I bet you answer the question, but if they don't have the pot is who's going to get to the lead. And well, that's what, that's what the answer is. The one answer we have is from Sheldon who gets the early lead. Yeah. And, and that's, that, that's to me, it's like, who cares? <laughs> like, like, you know, really what, I mean, that's not the answer you, you're, you're trying to, that's not the question you're trying to answer. Right. It's what you said. It's like, okay, who has an advantage based on their run style? Who, my second question, but who has the best match in terms of run style to the way they are projected to run, you know, versus this, versus this field. So like, so you're looking for an edge who gets the lead. It, it, it really doesn't matter. I mean, okay. It's good. Good. To, if you're playing, I think if you're playing like, what's that inline racing in, what do they call that racing where you try to predict who's going to be in the front? That's when it's important. But I think once you get to, uh, to, uh, to if you're betting a race and trying to see who's going to win the race, I think that's the better question. And I think that's why we did the plot. And that's why we have the plot. Yeah. Yeah, because, okay, if, you're, if your question is, if your question is, uh, you know, but that's maybe my, like, maybe my next question is, you know, who gets, who gets, the, yeah, everything in context, pace connection with the leader, right? So your next, your next question is like, okay, this is a race that sets up for a horse that wants to be on or near the lead. Who's going to have, you know, the best, you know, two furlong speed, gate speed, do they have finishing ability? How much pressure are they going to take? How much, you know, again, how much finishing ability, how much speed, how much separation, things like that. Because you know, now you're looking, now you're looking at this race shape from a perspective of this horse is going to favor a horse that's forwardly placed, hmm. you know, right? Right. Not necessarily that makes the lead, but maybe forward we play. So it could be the lead. Right. You know? Right. And then, yeah, I mean, cause then it would, you know, everything in context, right. It's like, okay, well, um, let's, you know, we're looking at this one, right. Let's look at this one, like from surface distance, just so I can kind of make this kind of analogy. Right. So you have like two and eight who are on quadrant one. Well, the two is inside. And the eight is outside. So I would say the two is going to make the lead because the eight is going to have to clear six, five, three, four, seven. I don't know. You know, I don't know what four and seven are going to do in this case, but at least the set, the two is at least going to be able to get out in front of the one. So the two is at least going to be there. Right. 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 Yeah. I think two is going to make the lead. It should be able to hold it. It's going to be a matter of, you know, for at least, to the half. So then what happens? <laughs> right? Yeah. So, but, so, least, so then what happens is you're getting, well, you're getting only 16 to one to find out. Yeah well, yeah. well, yeah. Okay. But we had this, but then, then you have, see now the six, if you look at the six now, I mean, obviously these horses haven't run much. So it's, so this, you know, it's, it's hard to assess the six, even though he kind of, he plots. Okay. But this is a horse that, um, let me just go to his form here for a second so I can, I gotta get to that race. Okay. So this is a horse to me, just kind of looking at him is like needs to be close to be effective, more effective, right? Look at his races where so he's got like he's gotta be within, you know, like he's better like when he's close up versus like being fourth or ninth or whatever, right? That I'm just seeing the way he kind of plots is that. You know, maybe he's going to be a little bit, he's okay, but he's not as strong as, you know, you would first think if you looked at the plot. Does that make sense? Because mm -hmm. uh, I think, you know, he's going to be under some pressure. Um, let's look at the three, because that was the one I liked. I, I, I just think the three is not, I think his plot is not reflective of the horse. Because I think if you, I mean, I think this race, two of the races were on the turf. The one dirt race, um, you know, he was, you know, off a layoff. So he's a hard horse to assess. Well, well, I could, I could take this. This is kind of interesting though, because if you key off, if you key off that second race, which is the one dirt race, and 
scrolling over, if you look at where it was in the plot, the horse was a quad one square that day. So to your point, if you're thinking this is a horse that has early speed, essentially the horse was supposed to be. Yeah, off the debut. Yeah, because of the debut, right? Because his yeah. debut was against, yeah. Yeah, and then didn't, for whatever reason, you know, don't really know. Could be, you know, the layoff, could be the distance, could be tactics. Yeah, so this is what Emily was talking about. This horse was a Q1 square going into that second race. This is second race. So he's got speed and, you know, he didn't show it that day. Made a little bit of a move. Could have been just the rust, knocking the rust off. And then the third race is in a, you know, a route race, you know, going long. So, yeah. So I, I just think maybe he's not projected right in the plot, right? So, you know, you, this we have to do, right? Because the plot's only a plot past information. It's not, it's not projecting anything. So you have to kind of use the form cycle to kind of figure out a horse. That's why I kind of like when you looked at the threes, like I think he's better than this. He's working forward. So this is the horse I kind of like. He's nine to one. Um, the nine was the other one. We said he looked logical. Let's see like how he typically runs. So he's he's a horse that's going to need to come, kind of come off of it a little bit. And he does, right? Yeah. He's, got, he's got that capability. So he seems solid. Um, he's the favorite. I mean, I, you know, I wouldn't be betting my lungs on him, but I mean, he's just a horse that – Looks like, you know, he's he's got a very good chance to hit exact or something like that. So, I think the long shots that we liked were the two and the three, and we thought the nine was logical. So, and I, I and I I'm strong on the I'm strong enough on the three that I would would want to make a win bet on him. It's eight to one. Yeah. Let's let's uh, did we, we did we talk about the five? We talked about him a little bit. Um, he's another one. It's kind of be forward. He's he's a, he's the only problem with him is right is like his second call on surface and distance. But again, you got to assess this right. He's only run the one dirt race, so he's coming out a lot of turf races. So he might be better than it looks here. You know, he, he, his his standard plot might be more reflective of him than his surface and distance in this case. So he might be closer up uh, in competing early. But, yeah, uh, this horse, this horse just so it's so questionable because she, when she debuted, she debuted last summer at Del Mar for Mulhall at 32, the 32 claiming level. Right. And that's what Kristen Mulhall did. She was super live last year and that horse didn't win. She ran fine, but she didn't win, was claimed out of that race. You know, obviously the layoff comes into play. But, you know, Sadler runs are another barn that's good. Doesn't really move this horse up. Yeah, this horse has to move forward. You know? Yeah, really. She's moved, and, and if anything, she's moved forward going longer. It's like now the blinkers are going on. It's like they're just trying anything at this point. Yeah, and, it, and this goes back to the race that we talked about the last race, right, with the seven horse, Emily, where there's a horse that's been forwardly placed in routes now, you know, coming back to sprint. And really hasn't shown the ability like to be a closing sprinter, right? So that that's a concern. A um, little bit harder to read on the plot because of the turf races, but no, I think I think like I said, I like three. I understand your two maybe hanging around. Nine looks logical. Playing against a little bit of the five and the six in here is the way I, I would approach it. Um, so in the chat, uh, Emily just got back from the class. Did you already talk about race seven? That's the focus race. As soon as we're done with this, yeah, we do we have, we have five minutes or do you want to wait until the race is over to do the focus race? Oh uh, yeah, we can do it. We got plenty okay. of time. All right. Cause it's a race. Remember I, t I texted you. I was like, I'm, I know, yes, I'm on the yes. race. I know I'm on the right race. I just, yeah. I'm having yeah, I'm a hard time doing this line. I'm stronger on the, uh, the one of those horses than you. So we could talk. Well, about I might. I don't know if you saw, but I did adjust it after okay. your comment. Okay. You want you want to chat? Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly like just this race. I mean, is because of the one being the morning line favorite, and I just, I mean, I have fair odds on this horse at like fifteen. This horse is absolutely like no edge in this race, like at all from the plot, the speed figures class, like just. There's nothing about this horse that can justify being the favorite, even though it is a softer seven to two, right? So that's why I was like, I know, I know this is the race that's going to produce a price. The problem is, it's just like it's who, <laughs> who right? Yeah, because then you have a lot of these horses that are the same, and like 
you know, you preferred the seven uh, right. over some of these others. And, right. um, you know, the seven, I, I, when I go back through, I'm like, the seven is winning this race. It just makes sense fast. It has a speed page. I guess just my, my one like major knock on this horse. And now it's a live barn because Wong already won a couple races earlier. So that probably upgrades the seven, but just the fact that this horse just seems like it's better, just shorter. And so the seven with the pace scenario, I just wasn't that crazy about it. But again, I mean, I, I think that the horse certainly is maybe the most likely horse. And now with the live barn, maybe it's even more li likely, but also, you know, could be favored. Um, and then you have like, you have a horse like the two, which is like, this horse could probably win this race. However, you have that long layoff, you have a drop. You know, even you just you start bringing in those question marks, like it was that 12 horse in the 10th race at Saratoga, right? It's just right. like you have all those other factors. Um, and the three to me, I mean, I feel like the three you can upgrade just from the fact, especially if you're getting a price, just the fact that this horse has some recency, um, did have a trip last out, wasn't the right trip for this horse. Um, you know, with the right trip, this horse wins, you know, at least it's coming in the form. And then as far as the, the four, um, you were more negative on this horse just because the barn changed with, which I respect. And I think like, I'm glad you brought up that point. Cause I, I think I did have the horse, but just in terms of the class, it's coming out of those races in Kentucky, which is a class edge. The May 7th race at Churchill Downs has been productive with horses winning, holding their speed figures, including the fourth place finisher that won, um, the Canadian Derby at Century Mile for what it's worth. It is a grade three race. Um, but just, you know, the numbers that stack up on par, you just, you know, you do have the barn change. And then the other horse that uh, was kind of a wild card or the other two horses in here is like the six being like a lightly raced type, like. Who knows? Maybe this horse just is like the right place at right time. I mean, it only has a couple races and, you know, and then the nine, I mean, I can make a case for the nine is a big long shot. He was claimed out of the race by Diodoro last out, but Diodoro horses have been a little bit cold that maybe they were looking at this horse for like a second off. So this barn trains this horse and you know this horse is, you know, kind of sitting like peak in his form cycle. So, I mean, there's, there's just a, a lot of ways to go on this race, but essentially I wrote it up because um i felt that the one was just such a like a weak favorite if they do end up making the one the favorite so it sounds like you want to spread that race if you're playing this pick four this or just yeah i mean if you're playing pick four yeah you do want to spread and if you are betting it i mean you can just really look at the board and you know yeah, yeah. kind of make make your decisions just kind of on you know some overlays and things like that Bet the seven. yeah I mean, well, the seven is probably going to be favored now that Wong yeah, yeah, yeah. has a couple races. I know. Yeah, all right, that's good. Good, that's a good race. So you get, you know, you got the two and the seven have the edge right now in terms of your your line versus the morning line. Yeah. But you know, a lot of others right there. So six looks good. Nine, you know, by value wise. Okay, they're approaching the gate. Delmore. All I have to say to the two is you're only a quad one once. Is that one? That's a reference that maybe um, nobody in this entire chat is ever going to get. There's a there's a hard, a hardcore band called Side by Side. And they have a popular song that's called You're Only Young Once. So oh. I said, You're only a quad one once. That's true. You're only young once. That's, that's true. And that, good thing for that. They also have a song, The Time Is Now. So the time is now on the class drop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this race, one of Three, and we like the two, both think the nine. It's logical. And a little bit soft on the five and the six. Nine's acting up a little behind the gate. I see that. Old Frank, she's real. Old Tony.
three pound. Two slog. That was it. That was your one chance. One chance to go. Three's in, nothing. He's done. Here's a two, Emily. I'm not done yet, apparently. A two. Ooh. Come on, Come two. On. Come on, five, stop. Come on, two, run. <laughs> Come run. on, two, run. Come on. Five, put on the brakes. Two, finish, <laughs> finish. Finish. Oh my God. Can we get this race at six oh and a half for a long time, please? God damn it. It doesn't matter. They go around another time and we're going to go past them. Jesus Christ. Wow. Good pick. It was yeah. just like my day, man. Yeah, I know. That was a bad day. Oh. Good, good pick, oh, though. Man, a lot. And that horse is bed down, too. I mean, I had like I had the right idea. I think just like the slow start. I mean, then they tried to raid. I mean, gave the horse all chance, but. Yeah. Man, oh well. Three popped out of the gate, looked good, and just just went backwards from there. You know, I thought it was. And when I saw him pop out again, I'm like, okay, here we go. No running. All right. Well, that's a wrap, I think. Right? Anything else yeah. you want to take go through? I think we got everything. At the Travers, we did the. Uh, we even did the, what was it, the forego? Is it the forego? I forget what the spring Whichever the uh, Jackie's Warrior race is. Jackie's Warrior, yeah. How many times I've called that a girl, that horse? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, anything else? Let's see. Oh, that's... That should do. Oh, yeah. Thank one of the you. Want to, just, just a note for people playing Saratoga. Okay. Uh, and and when, notes players, when you come back, to, you know, the end of Saratoga and when you come back for Belmont or Aqueduct at Belmont, the Belmont at Aqueduct, uh, pay attention to horses that have this note wide, no cover, trips on the grass. Okay. Because that's a real big disadvantage at uh, Saratoga. So, you know, pay attention to the horses that have ran decent races with that. Keyword with those keywords, okay? That's just what I want to say. And remember, tomorrow's the Travers, Saturday's the Travers. And so uh, check us out. Uh, we have a, a silver plan, we'll include the last six races plus the, the four go race. And so that'll be really good. Um, and I may put a couple of tickets in there, you know, just kind of proposed tickets. And so, yeah, that should be cool. Check us out, opticseq.com. Uh, and next week, I think, is the last weekend, right, Emily? Or is it not? Uh, yeah, well, for us, for you, yeah, it will be, right? Delmar will go an extra weekend, but they actually don't do that last. So we only have one more show, right? Oh, so so, so Delmar will be one more week, though? Yes, but okay. it's, but we don't. Um, oh, we don't need Saratoga. They're, they're gonna do I know, but they don't, they don't, they don't run that last Thursday. But they don't run they, the last Thursday. Yeah, they just run Friday, Saturday. So next week is our last week. We'll have to figure oh, okay. out something. As long as if people will still want us to live stream, you guys have yeah. to, uh, you know, let us let us know. Yeah, let us know. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I, I really want to do something, at least for the Pacific Classic. Okay. Yeah, you know, something, even if it's just, you know, you and I do an analysis. Uh, so, all yeah, right. Oh, yeah, because sure. that's, cause that's, a, that's the flight line. Um, and then just as far as real quick, real quick, as far as um, focus, uh, tomorrow's race is um, a maiden special weight race, a juvenile maiden special weight race going two turns. Could have some quality horses in that race. Um, not typically a race that I pick, but I think we just have so much good information with the optics notes in there for tomorrow. And then on Saturday, the focus, I haven't put it in yet because it, it wasn't finalized when I wrote it up, but um, 
It is the grade two something or other, but Speaker's Corner is running in that race. Oh, cool. Yeah. You against them? No, I think he stands out. Okay. And uh, this is the this is the race Emily's talking about tomorrow. And yeah. she has the prime play in there, so check it out. Um, yeah. Sounds like yeah. a good opportunity. All right, everyone, thanks a lot. Thanks for the feedback. Oh, real comment. Do you use optic spirit picks at horses? Yeah, I, that, I use optics. To, that's all I use to handicap. So, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's been kind of sketchy there. The last, uh, today wasn't that bad, but um, yeah. Yeah, I use optics for all the handicapping, 100%. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate the feedback and the support. And uh, hopefully next week we do a little bit better with our uh, analysis. But hey, <laughs> the thing is, is our analysis is not going to change. It's just, you know, it depends yeah, on. Just getting, yeah, just getting, yeah, 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 yeah. I think, you know, Emily, just to close on that, it's like I think the most important thing for players to, to learn is to be consistent because you're going to have bad and good days. And don't change your approach. You know, if you, if you, if you think it's a winning, you know, like, I mean, you got to do it over a period of time and you know see if it's a winning approach but once you do get that don't don't go and try to change lots of things try to improve on the approach you have don't try to start all over again because <laughs> you'll drive yourself crazy okay all right everyone thanks a lot